So we're War we're Warhawk five. We need to kill SA ten South, um, which is at steer um, fucking steer nine. Uh, nine. Um. Okay. Yep. Stand by. Uh, um, secondary. Secondary is to kill SA ten North at tier ten. Um. Here's our game plan. We'll go up uh, medium altitude to steer four. We'll do a dive NOE to steer five. On the way between steer four and steer five, we got to really, really watch out on those roads there for shit moving on the roads. There could be tanks and all sorts of shit moving along the roads uh, we got to make sure we don't get tracked by those tanks then we'll once we're out to sea come uh, to four obviously five by five once we're out to sea uh we'll stay nap of the earth the whole way uh to steer eight steer eight will be our ip um we'll perform uh we'll perform a pop-up attack uh come off to the left and um so it would yeah, be like right here actually we'll come off left um, slice down and then uh, re-attack from steer 8 um, once we have BDA confirm splash on the southern SA-10 we're going to uh, do an attack onto the northern SA-10 confirm BDA and splash on that um, and then uh, once that's confirmed splashed um we will still have to be NOE because there's SA-10 to the southwest, but we'll we'll do uh, a pop-up um, onto the SA-8s. We'll get captured on the SA-8s. We're going to destroy the eastern SA-8s. The other flight's going to destroy the western SA-8s. Um, once the SA-8s are dead, uh, we'll look for anything else in the city and engage with any remaining weapons. I don't expect we'll have weapons by then, but that's our, uh, that's our contingency plan. That's the high-level plan. I'll go over the attack plans uh, in in detail um, in a moment. Any questions on the high-level plan? Well, all I need to, to do is just follow you, right, uh, Kraus? Yeah, you're gonna you're okay. like bonus points on this mission. I'm not really counting for okay. you to contribute anything. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, so many terminology, I don't understand. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, this is this is the hardest mission set you can do. It's uh. Really not good for beginners to be in a deed for time. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, um, here's our tactical plan for attacking that uh, that SA-10 South. Um, we're gonna have um, myself. Uh, so we'll be in a trail formation. Um, shooter, suppressor on number one. Suppressor number two. Shooter suppressor. Oh no, you're not a. You don't. You can't suppress. It'll be shooter suppressor. Shooter. Shooter. Uh, rather, shooter suppressor. Suppressor. Shooter. And then suppressor. So. Um. I, shooter suppressor. Shooter suppressor. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's shooter slash suppressor for myself. Suppressor for number two. Shooter okay. for three. And then suppressor for number four. Sure. Um. I want us to do, uh, yeah, it'll be a trail formation. We're going to come off right. We're going to float to steer seven and then reset for a reattack. Um, hmm. Considering, is, I'm, I'm considering number four suppressing the northern SA-10, but I don't, I, it, it all depends on if two can get his missiles off. Um, I think conservatively we'll just go with our plan of, We'll all just suppress the the target, which will be uh, five harms. Do you want to come off right over the city or left? Coming off right. Okay. Um. Do we think it's at that nuclear plant? I uh, I'm having Hopefully. a hard time seeing that on. Huh. Supposedly that's where it is. Um, just, uh, let me recon this shit and make sure what I said actually makes sense, but I think it will. So I look, I love the fact that you can go to the waypoints now and look at where, what they are. That's nice. The only problem is when I do that with nine, it just brings me to the port. 
Okay, so Steer 8 is actually an amazing IP, so... Um, it is. Because there's hills. In fact, we should use those hills. We shouldn't do... Um, we should we should scooch it. Um, we should scooch the IP. Hold on a second, let me see. You're gonna come around to the left there? Um, hold on. Because those, because those the hills are on the left side are like about 10 miles away. You're yeah. going to have to come over them like unless here. you get really lucky. I think this is actually what the IP would be. Let me let me recon it again. Nope. And did I fuck that up? Hold on, stand by. Oh, the uh, pop-up. Do we need to do the offset like 30 degrees to the left or something? Um, hold on a second. Okay. I'm doing planning stuff. I think you'll be fine there, Kraus. Everywhere along that ridge line to the coast has death laid. It's just the closer to the coast, the less you altitude you yeah, got. Yeah, so that's that's perfect. So I think if we attack and then come off left, we'll be really good. Um, if we come off right, we'll get splashed by shit because we'll be on the ridge line. Um, so that should be good. That IP should be awesome. Um, all right, I'm gonna go over the like specific switchology and shit for uh, two and four. Um, so we want to use the harms in pause mode. Mm -hmm. um, we want to use pre-briefed mode, and you mm -hmm. want to select 10 Tango as the radar type. Um, and what you're going to do is uh, you, you're going to you're going to select the steer point, um, which will be steer nine. You're going to do pre-briefed mode, um, SA 10 Tango, or 10 Tango. You're going to fire. You're going to wait for it. You're going to you're gonna wait for it to say ready again on the bottom of the MFD and then fire again. Don't fire before it says ready in the in the middle bottom of the MFD. Otherwise, your missile's is gonna go ballistic. Mm -hmm. um, we we okay. don't we don't have a head, so it's gonna be using the weapon page and then everything Kraus just yeah the the T thing right the uh the T T screen I don't know what's that called. no that's that's you're has not. you're not you're not using has you're gonna use oh, okay you're gonna use uh, pause which is a mode for pre-brief target with a known position okay okay you'll be able to okay. you'll be able to play you'll be able to learn how to use it on the way in um okay. so basically the, the important thing is you're firing at a steer point you need to have the target selected the steer point selected it has to say ready and then you're good okay cool got ya we on the way in we have like a 70 or 80 mile ingress before we have to start going low on the way in we'll just We'll practice with that on imagining that there's an SA-10 in Tier 4. Mm -hmm. um, any questions on that, Domesto? So it's going to be one pass. Um, you're going to fire both harms in one pass. Um, okay. If okay. two can actually... You don't want to keep one... Go ahead. You don't want to keep a harm back in case we need to re-attack or attack the northern SAM-10. So this is the issue is... you might be able to press it then. I... I have low confidence in two. No offense to. Um, yeah. So my problem is, is that I need more than one harm in the air. Like there should mm -hmm. be at least three harms in the air on that SA-10. And if I fire a harm and then two fires his harm successfully, then that's three harms in the air on that SA-10. And ideally, you would be attacking the northern SA-10, Domestos. But I think in this case, we're gonna just saturate the target with all of our harms. Right. Okay, um, no props. Would you okay. call that launch? Um, say again? Would you call that launch? Uh, no, so... Would, would you tell us when to fire? No, so we're gonna, we're gonna have a five second... Actually, call it ten second spacing between each element. Um... And I want... Well, I, I want well, your, I need to announce. Uh, call it five seconds. We'll do a five second spacing between each element. Um... So it should be myself, I'm going to fire a harm, then I'm going to switch to Mavericks. Then then two should fire both of his harms five seconds later. Then okay. three should pop up, then you should fire both of your harms. Um, Dementos. But if two fucks up, or you don't hear anything from two, you should fire your harms. Yeah, I'll see it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, like, if 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 I'm in the, if I'm attacking and I don't hear harms coming off the rail, that I need you to fire your harms. Would, right, would you like me to? Do what we did last time and just take a, a harm instead of the Mavs. Um, I would like. A... I can definitely put two harms in the air at the time that you need them. Yeah, let's keep it. Mm -hmm. Let's keep the weapons freeland. It's fine. Okay. Okay. 
I'm, I'm happy with that. All right. So yeah, five seconds spacing. Uh, re you know, release your so two. You should be firing your harms five seconds after I pop up. Okay. I uh, call out call out my magnum whatever that just is. Just say magnum. Isn't it? Just say okay. Say magnum. say magnum. And if it's the pre reefed target, then don't say anything. Just say magnum. If it's okay. if it's another target, which I highly doubt you would do, but if it's another target that we didn't brief, then call out what it is. Okay. Um. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna say IP inbound. When I say, when I say in, that's when I want you to release your harms. Okay. Right. And you, when you say in, and now will I release my harm? Okay. If you don't, if you get confused, just fire your harms. Just okay. <laughs> just, just get the harms in the air because my chance of dying yeah. is dramatically higher. Um, the longer those harms are. Not Got there. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Got ya. Cool. Um, yeah, then come off right, because if you don't come off right, you're going to take an SAA to the face. So make sure you come off right. Uh, we'll, we'll flow back to your 70 reattacks as, as briefed. Okay. okay, so egress is to the right. Okay. Egress right, flow to steer 7. I'm going to put this into the. I'm going to put all this stuff into the Saturday BMS events channel. Okay. I, I've loaded the uh, flight plans in Weapon Delivery Planner, so... Outstanding. Okay. Um, hey, uh, Breland, your discretion on weapon. Yeah. You're, you can use whatever weapon you want when you when we do that attack. Yep. Uh, uh, and something else that I wanted to talk about before I forget again. Um, I want to be careful traversing between between steer point or around steer point five, there's probably still a fuck ton of mech on oh, that I know. road. Yeah, most, I said that. So. I'm afraid of that yeah. as well. I we need to be looking visually on the road when we start like we're outside of the Samwises at that point, so we should be able to look from altitude and get um maybe we should put a fucking steer point on there even. Yeah. Uh, so. yeah, I'm gonna here, I'll do this. I'm gonna put um steer four or steer five. Actually no fuck that. Yeah, yeah, steer five. Um, we'll just reference that with the pod and then scan north along the road and make sure there's nothing over there yep. before we yep. start descending. And then we'll fly to six. Yeah, we won't actually fly to five. Off. We'll fly to six. Yeah, and then we'll head. Uh, east. we should probably. When are we going NOE along that path? We might want to move six a little farther out to sea, like an SA-19 was out to sea. Oh, that's true. I guess we don't need to actually descend. To NOE no, because... yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, oh, in fact, if we do that, we don't even. We should still look. Sort of I guess we, we should, should still look in case there's SA eights or shit. But like, that's true. I'm thinking as long as you're like an SA nineteen was out to sea, you're probably fine before you descend. True. Okay. Yeah. So that that that's good. Then we'll have that. Let me just put a uh, SA eight ring on there just to see how big that would be. Yeah. So if we. If we keep steer six where it is, we'll be outside of the range of an SA eight, so we should be fine. I plopped an SA eight just north of steer five, just in case yeah. to have a visual. Cool. Um, all right. Do I need to change the uh, table for the hum? You need two ten in there. Two ten. Okay. Two ten. Two one zero. Two one zero is uh, ten tango, the ten track radar. Okay, Brett one, two ten. All right, listen up. All right, are we the? No, we're not the last ones. Okay, good. Um. Yeah, so Breland, if uh, actually this applies to anyone. If if we go, um, if we get blocked line of sight on on the comms, just just um proceed as frag. So what I mean by that is is like if you still have weapons. And you you have a confirmed splash on the SA-10. Just fucking roll in for the SA-10 north and try to attack it. Um, okay, yep. Don't don't wait for me or anything. Just do it. Um, the comms were ridiculously sensitive last time, so. Yeah. So so what happened last time and what my right, plan is to do the same thing. It will slow things down. But if I do not have a confirmed splash and I don't have comms, I'm gonna wait till I have a confirmed splash. Yeah. To just proceed. Do it, to exactly. Okay. Just do a dry attack and confirm the BDA. Yep. Okay, that's my plan. Because we don't know exactly where this fucking thing is. It could, like that's another thing is when I when I get captured on that thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it out. Um, 
Yeah, really, uh, really get a good. That, uh, go. It's gonna be behind the nuclear plant, like it's... it always is. It doesn't matter what angle you come from; it's always behind the fucking plant. It's possible. So if you look at it, it's gonna be we're gonna be attacking like uh, two two seven, roughly. Yeah. Um, that would be annoying. So we could potentially attack. Um, one. So if that happens, we could attack from the due west. Uh, 175. We could we could flow south. Oh, they attack from over the water. Yeah. That, so. Okay, that'll be the backup in case in case we can't see the flat lid and we can, like if we can see the launchers but not the the flat lid. Yeah. Um, make a do. make another um here. Let me let me hold on a second. Uh, reference my screen. Make make that position IP2 that I just marked. Uh, are you are you, are you uh, visual that Breelan? Yep, initial point two set. Cool. Hang on. Oh, sorry, did I fuck you? Stand by. Here, I'll send it again. There you go. I need to add that too, right? Don't worry about it. You'll you'll okay. be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm good. We're getting shot. You're good. Your main job should be to keep Kraus alive and keep yourself alive. Okay. Get the harms in the air, and ref like correctly, and you've succeeded in your mission. If, you, mm -hmm. if you're able to return so, back and land, you've also succeeded in your mission. So to come to to reiterate, I will go to steer point ten and then activate the harm. With uh, pause and pre beef mode. Yes. Oh, it's steer point nine. Steer ten now we because we added another steer point 10. in. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So got ya. And then uh, after you fire, five seconds later, I will fire two harms on the ten T. Yeah. I'll I'll probably just yeah. tell you when to fire as well. So. Okay. Sure. Sure. That would yeah. be great. Yeah. Thanks. But if I'm Ooh. if I'm like if you see me like pitching into the air, then mm -hmm. you should be firing. Okay. Like if you see right. if you or if I'm attacking any basically like when I'm attacking I don't want to uh I don't want you to What is this shit? Oh my god, okay. It's just important that the harms are in the air. Okay. What is that what is that that he just put in Hmm? Um, Who put where? Raz is putting to Saturday BMS events. Is that is that second one for loss of flight performance and MP with some of that graphical bug on missile trail launch? I don't care about those. Oh, uh, it's not important. Not okay. important for this. If it, it was if it was gonna fix the stores, I'd be like, yeah. I mean, is there there's one that says C change change store damage, but I don't think I think uh, Streak investigated that and it didn't work. Um. I got this already. Um, yeah, yeah, don't worry 50. about it. Okay. Wait. Not important know. whether you have it or not. Wait, we would actually be coming off left, right? Not right. Did I say? Did I say left? You've been saying left, yeah. Okay, good. Um. All right, I just put the uh, fighter to fighter brief in the um, Saturday BMS events channel. Scene. Okay. You forgot ordinance. It should be yes. Oh, I put it in there. What happened to it? It should just be the word yes. Yes, all of the ordinance. There it is. You know, I wonder if I change the altitude of Steer 9, if it will lower it to the ground. Let me try that. My mind will be blown if this actually works. Uh, did not work. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so as far as our comms are concerned, we're going to be on Victor 15. All right, listen two, up. 
two, you're going to be on 78 X-ray air-to-air -air attack end. 78 X-ray, okay. Yep. Cool. No idea why that didn't work. We should be following your AI who's texting. Warhawk 5, 4 ship, F 16s. Request taxi. Good afternoon, Warhawk 5. Your number two is departure track, the Alpha. And hold short, runway 36 left. Warhawk 5 1, contact tower for takeoff. Switch to 2 3 0 1 5. Hey, uh, 2 and 4, radio check. 2 loud and clear. 4 loud and clear. Alright. Cool. Um, stand by. Quick question. You know, you know, in half, uh, in the harm table, when you set in the data cartridge, for the leftmost one, is it table zero or one? Uh, we'll, we'll walk you through that when we get in the air, man. Don't, don't worry about it. What's the QNH? Warhawk 5, 4 ship, F-16s, ready for departure. Warhawk 5, hold short. All right, we're gonna do a trail takeoff. Um, just give it like a two-second pause before you start rolling, too. Got it, too. Warhawk five, turn one, tower, wing three two zero at one Start one knots, runway three six left. You are cleared for takeoff. Yeah, just uh, rolling takeoff, two-second delay, rejoin into a um, finger four, and uh, we'll full full burn to three fifty. What? Say again. Watch the system and the heavy wind. Two rolling. Three roll. Two airborne. Cool, just fly uh, heading 357 for the rejoin. Warhawk 5 1, contact departure. Three airborne visual drop. Uh, Channel 1 Tower, Space 7, uh, uh, pushing by 16, um, ready for departure. Push uniform six. Yep. Three. Four. Chalice five. Warhawk five one. Request a vector to threat. Warhawk five. Chalice five. I'm all out. Cyborg's up. Four good chips. Alright, boys, let's uh, check right for steer two. Make five uniform check. Turn here. Just doing a uniform check. Three, you're good. Yep, full check in uniform. Okay, make a five. Four good ships. Alright, go ahead and uh, fence in and uh, music on. Three, fence, one, thirteen, three. Force fence 13 6. So, two, uh, make sure your uh, ECM is on and make sure your harm power is on. Yep, uh, space 7, check. Also, check uh, Master Arm on. Yep, it's on. Okay, so, uh... Temperature check again, uniform check. Let me, know when you're, let me know when you're ready and we can walk you through how to use the harm. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, reference, uh, steer three. Go into air to ground mode and, uh... Just make sure your harm is... Actually, you only have a harm, so... Air to ground seven, mode, uh, uh, harm power trip, on. Uh, on your left MFD, it. switch it. Uh, switch FLCS to the uh, weapon page. Okay, is uh, on what page now? 
cool. Where it says has on the top left, double click on that and click pause. We check speed. How, how much sensor is it? No. Yeah, well, where it says has on the top left, double click on that button and switch it to pause. Yep, pause now. Okay, so on there, uh, click click the table button to or to TBL until it says 10 tango. TBL 10 tango. So the, on, the, on the left side, those are the radar types. You want to press, you want to cycle through the tables until you see 10 tango. Yep, it is on. Cool. Select, um, just click 10 tango, and uh, you'll see a time to impact. And when it says ready in the middle bottom of the MFD, that's when you would fire. Do not fire right now, but that's when you would fire. It's ready now, but I would not fire. Correct. Do not fire, but that is how you would do that attack. And if, so you have to select the steer point, and then you select the radar type, and then when it says ready, you can fire. EOM. Uh, switch it to PB mode. Five, speed seven, picture. Papa, bravo. Correct. Speed seven one, Dallas. Five, picture clear. All right, does that make sense? Yep, that makes sense. And the biggest thing is, uh, let's check left for steer three. Uh, the biggest thing is, is when you fire. Um, you have to wait like three or four seconds before the next missile uh, is going to say ready. Don't don't fire immediately, otherwise it will just go ballistic. Okay, got ya. Um, so for steer, steer point 10, I will fire it and wait five seconds and, yeah, and shoot another one. Uh, as soon as your as soon as it says ready, you can fire your second one. Okay, cool. Got ya. All right, let's reference uh, steer three. Three. Three, two. Are we going trail or, or wedge? Uh, stand by, I'm in four side of the Mavericks. Okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be in we're gonna be in trail when we do the attack. Right now, you can stay in a finger four. Got ya. Okay. So you should be to my um, eight o'clock. Yep. Are hey, you one? I am one. Okay. I'm just going slow for a bit while I bore something Mavericks. Roger that too. Same. Strange, strange. I can't um, uncage my second Mav. Chalice five, Cyborg four three, group bullseye zero zero five five nine twenty one thousand. Declare. Cyborg Dude, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> this is fun. My, s I press missile step to go to my second Mav, and um, it's black, and I can't missile step to the other Mav. All 
Uh, let's drop it to 4. Um, I might be, uh, I'm, I might be fucked, uh, for this attack. Space 7 is orbiting 4 tier T. Miko, 5-1, Talon, 5, nearest threat, bullseye, zero six five five six twenty thousand. 5, 6, 20,000, hot, hostile, contact ID is MiG-29. Um, any idea how to fix this, Breland? Like, people are saying if you do the store's power, fi like, it could fix this? Yeah, try try doing that on your, uh, your right hip. Right hard point, right? Is that, is that the one you've got, yeah. you got them both on a double ejector, right? No, I have a, I have a harm on the other one. So dude, I, I'm i so confused right now, dude. Because I turned the power off, running cold, I turned the power nine, off, uh, but now it now uh, that it shows the screen back on. Southeast. Sounds like you're decent, you probably just need to rejoin. We're inbound zero point five, that's beginning of the break cap point. Alright, I'm gonna try to foresight the second one now. Should be at cap point. Nope, so when I... When I missile step, it goes black, and then I can't get back to the first one. Just leave it on the first one, then. Strover 05552. Those strovers are the trouble. Guys, we got contact, 40 miles, strovers, 045. Yeah, sorry, I'm, uh, here, come left, we're gonna orbit here for a second. I'm trying to fix my air-to-ground shit. Alright, whatever, dude. Um, we'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll see how this goes. Hey, uh, check left to heading, uh, north. Three, checking north. Four. Uh, capture 29. Camel force monitoring. Uh, correction, separate force monitoring. Give a commit range. I'm following one minute to those guys. Uh, check, uh, left to the uh, 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 side. Warhawk 5, uh, uh trending 320. I uh, just go full Baron reference 320. Separate force committing 03058, 23,000 track north. Uh, four, check left, zero. Uh, two. Checking left, visual. Miko, five one, Talon, five, nearest threat, round zero, eight, five, two, four, twenty eight thousand, beaming, hostile, contact ID, to eight twenty nine, two ship. Miko, five one, Talon, Chalice, 5, Warhawk, 5-1, five, request a vector to threat. Warhawk, 5-1, five, Chalice, 5, nearest threat, Rob, 1, 0, 0, 2, 4, 20,000, tracking, hostile, contact ID, to MiG-29, 2 ship. Cyborg 4, Warhawk 5, Chalice, status bandit. Chalice, 5, contact is friendly. Cyborg 4, 1 is committed, 0, 2, 8, 65, 28,000, 2 ship. Uh, status bandit. 9, 2, 6, 4, 20,000, declare. They just defended a shot against AI, we're committing into him now. Roger. Okay, uh, check left. Uh, we're, gonna, thanks. we're gonna come around to uh, one bearing 120 after our left base. Chalice, 5, Gamble, 2 1, Three. group, bullseye, 0 oh. 2 2 6 2 6000, declare! 
Campbell, 2-1, Dallas, 5, contact is friendly. Phoenix are running east, uh, both at 25,000. What is bike? What is bike? Wait, one. Nine oh, zero, fifty. Yeah, I'm to your left, nine o'clock low. Okay. Just look to your left, nine o'clock, uh, slightly low. Yeah, before heading to MiG-29 group. At bullseye, zero, three, one, for fifty-eight. Cyber 41, Fox 3, 0, 3, 1, 60, 25,000, big 29. Uh, splash one zero three three for six two twenty thousand. Contact is friendly. Chalice five gamble two one group bullseye zero two zero five six seventeen thousand. Declare. Cyborg four Chalice five star package on route. Chalice five warhawk five one group bullseye zero four zero four five nineteen thousand. Declare. Dallas 5 Warhawk 5 Okay, uh, bandits are splashed. Warhawk 5 Hey, uh, package Rolex uh, plus 2. Warhawk 5 Dallas 5 I'm all out. Cyborg 4 2. Buddy spot. Speed 7. Rolex plus 2. Copy. Make a 5 4. Rolex plus 2. Gamble 2. Rolex plus 2. Alright. Alright, guys. Reference to your 5. Uh, Warhawk 5 is pushing. Big pushing. Speed 7 pushing. Yeah, we'll keep pushing. See, did you get me visual again? Three, let's start looking uh, down at that position. Three. Should be still five. Miko, five one, so yeah, eyes on the top of the town, steer five. I don't see anything in it. Uh, capture, uh, uh, Capture an SA-10 site about a thousand meters south of the city, but uh, I think the radar's dead. Yeah, that's when we killed last mission. It looks fairly clear. Yeah, I don't see anything over there. I don't see anything north of the city either. Three seconds. How, how do I know... How do I know where the communication is from UHF or VHF? Baggage confirm on no TUT, 206, uh... Oh, they're using call signs. Oh, okay. Also voices, also there's a setting you can switch left and right, also you can change the volume underneath your throttle on the top of the screen. Ah, uh, okay. Cool, yeah. Cyborg 4, Warhawk 5 status.
Okay, I got a, I got a good capture on the city. Um, Pico 2, Fox 3, Bullseye 0, three seven, in position. 28, it, it's clear. There's nothing over there. Yeah, triple A radar left. Should be fine. Alright, uh, reference to your 5. Fox 3, zero, eight, three Disregard, two, sorry, reference to your 6. 24,000. Alright, once we hit the, uh, once we go feet wet, we'll start descending for Nap of the Earth. Okay, so we're 3,000 feet. Uh, we're gonna be going down as low as you can take it without crashing, basically, so if you can bring it down to 300 feet, that'd be best, but don't crash. Two. Light check radar out on. Yep. Challenge five, Cyborg four three, group bullseye, zero, six, zero, two, three, one thousand, declare. Cyborg. Alright, go trail. Challenge five, contact is a bogey. Two, three, four. How far is the separation? Is it two miles or one mile? Yeah, two miles is fine. Uh, mud AAA right two o'clock. Chalice five, Cyborg four three, group bullseye, zero, seven, zero, three, three, twenty one thousand. Um, I don't know where that AAA would be coming from. Alright, let's uh, start descending. I'm idle throttle, I'm uh, nose down 15 degrees. Should I turn uh, radar terminator on? Yes. Careful, you're in an SA-10 mez. Alright, we're exactly on carrot. Uh, let's come right for steer 7. 2. I'm still idle throttle, I'm just gliding it. Tally a ship right two o'clock. I think it's civilian. No factor. Okay, bringing it up to uh, idle uh, to mill power. Two. Shuttle five. Space seven. Picture. Oh, I'm lo I've lost one. Wait, see. Yeah, it's alright, just... That's me. He's, uh... He's to your left low, five degrees left. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You're in line, you About uh, Mach 0.71 or so. 
Cyborg for Warhawk 5 status. Cyborg force establishing cap, uh, targeting one zero eight for five two four three group bullseye one one. Uh, got hostile crowds one zero eight for five two four thousand flank. Warhawk five three Roger. Dallas five contact confirmed. Hostile. Hold down. No, they're gonna they're gonna crank into us. Uh, they're within one zero seven fifty one fourteen thousand now going northwest. Confirm you're engaging them. Cyborg 4, uh, understand you're engaging them. Work. Hey, uh, come, well, up, uh, hey, come right, we're gonna engage we're gonna them. Be engaging that, uh, that Three. Right on. Watch the shoreline. Two. That contact strike northwest, uh, no, toward uh, the west back. Hey, uh, disregard, yeah. abort, abort, come left. <laughs> Two. Challenge left. Cyborg 4, Three. Three. Zero. Four. Six. Six, seven, three thousand. Cyborg four three Dallas five contact. Uh, Flow 140. one four zero. One four zero two. I think I think Gamble five is engaging them. We, we should be fine, and we're we're still on carrot. Just uh, let's reference steer seven again. We've got someone over steer seven four thousand. Maybe helicopter. Referencing seven two. Challenge five Warhawk five three. Uh, we're not one three. Oh, that's BS. Yeah, we're nails twenty nine two five zero BS. Here, come right. Come right. Going right too. Cyber 4 committed 10445, 23,000. Yeah, he's right. Uh, he's right. I'm being pinged by Triple A, Commit 104 for 4A, 26,000. BS, can you engage this guy as well? Cyber is committed. Contact confirmed, hostile. Make 29 in front of me, too. Contact is friendly. Separate Fox 3-1, 0 4 Hey, come left, come left. Uh, uh, we're gonna def we're gonna defend one zero zero. And we are trespass Sam 10. I know. Informative. Three, three, come left to one two zero. Uh, flow. Splash one zero five fifty nine. Maybe a smoker. Three three flow one two zero and uh, rejoin. You're out of formation. Three. Yep. Uh, Twenty nine. He's a flash of the life smoker. Going right to. All right. I'm referencing uh, steer eight again. Three. All right. Kill that smoker. Two. Okay. Uh, Warhawk five does frag. Or we're gonna do a left turn here, 3G. Rejoin. Alright, we're about uh, 30 seconds behind. If we can pick it up a bit, that'd be great. Okay, guys, let's go air to ground. Get ready. All set up, too. Four mil power. When you pull up, uh, one, when you pull up, I will shoot, right? Uh, yeah, like, wait a couple seconds and then shoot. Okay. Lead, can you call it, because uh, I can't see you visually. Yeah, I'm going to call, um, IP inbound and then in. Roger. Tell, tell me when to, when to shoot. Roger that. Cyber 4 is established in the east cap. Hey, uh, we're about a minute, uh, to attack, but yes.
just hope my maps work. Altitude. Alpha Altitude. Cyborg 42, Talon. Five, nearest threat, bullseye, two, zero, five, five, three, twenty-one thousand. Hot, hostile contact ID is MiG-29, two ship. Lead to smash. Uh, Mach 7, point six. Point 6.3 now, two. Altitude, altitude. Alright, crops, east lane clear, and uh, you're gonna have to be down below a thousand to stay out of the tent. Raj. Uh, IP inbound. That's Sam on my three o'clock too. I don't know. Uh, the Sam should be there. the Sam we're targeting should be near two o'clock. Ah, oh, okay. Should be on the other side of that ridge. Here we go. One's in uh, two two zero. Magnum. Uh, Wait a couple seconds. Okay. Okay, cap capture the flap lid uh, left of the left of the uh, smokestacks. Uh, you'll see them when you pop up, Breland. This one's gone. Speed seven, I beam Bob. Pop up a, a little bit closer yeah, than me. Uh, like eight miles. Splash. You're hitting. Why the second one doesn't go off? I'm off dry. I'm off dry. Uh, t uh splash. Magnum. Second one, Magnum. Yeah, flare. Three's off drive, got a mark point on the flap lid. That was a big bridge to the left, he got splashed. Oh shit. Flash, flare. I'm probably dead. Pull up, pull up. Four's off drive, rejoining. Pull up, pull up. Egressing back to the steer point eight. Uh, Altitude. Are you Altitude. sure that was the big bird? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the flap lid. Where, where? One for mark. Where, no, no, where is it reference to smokestacks? Uh, it's directly in front of the thing, uh, the plant from us. Roger that. Send mark of Ready, data? Wait, 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 it's one. Data. I'm in hot. Shall let's break it up. Ah, got it. Okay, I'm in. Mud 10 again, I'm still Mud 10. Three's in hot. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Okay, I'm in. Is it, is it good? Sam 10 South. Three off drive again. Fuck, I fucked my lob. Rifle. Rifle on the flap lid. Rifle on the flap. Flap. Flare. Crab. Flap. Flare. Snapshot. Flap. 
Flare. Staff. Flare. Staff. Flare. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Altitude. 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 I'm Altitude. off. Uh, zero five three. Altitude. Altitude. Splash. Three get first splash. Eight. Uh, package SA seven ten west down. SA ten east down. Excellent. Okay, let's start looking for those SA eights. We'll sort east. Uh, space seven holding west. Okay, guys. Uh, flow zero two two, and let's rejoin. Um, I've used all my harm. I know, you can still cover us on these attacks. Just flow, uh, 022 and let's rejoin. Stay in formation. Stay air to air. Watch for SAM launches. I had my track IR shit the bed during that, uh, last attack. That was fun. Dude, I go to, I go to loft, I see it hit 30, and I start to pull, and then it just, I lost my speed, I fucked it. All right, uh, two status IP. Uh, two behind you. All right, all right, we're all good. Uh, everyone turn in for the IP now and reference the SA-8 with a pod. Let's try to get capture. Uh, we're in formation, actually. I'm in the pop, uh, looking for the SA-8s. Three, it's turning in, huh? SA-8. Okay, capture. Hey, yeah. Spade 7, capture. Uh, they're on the east side of the uh, large square uh, office building. What? Uh, we're in on the south, the southmost one. The, uh, they're arrayed north to south. I, I want you to engage the northern ones. We're going to attack the southern ones. Okay. Three is uh, targeted next south. Hey, uh, Spade 7, acknowledge my last. Chaff, flare. That's it, get Spade 7. Unable, in hot. Three in hot next south. Altitude. Try Altitude. Rifle. Rifle. Chaff. Flare. Chaff. Flare. Low. Server smoke at 175. Flare. Out. Track northeast. Hey, Spade 7, I say again, attack the northern uh, SA-8. GB, you release. Copy. SA-7. Uh, Spade 7, copy. 3 GB, release. Next half. Out. Uh, two away on the southern pair. Okay, come off, come off and flow 033 for a reno. Three. Two. Four. One is in in drive for eyeball pass. In uh, zero uh, two two three. New Strober one six one fifty three. Two there. Three in. Okay, splash. Uh, our targets are splashed. Uh, let's wait. Uh, yeah, two can. Uh, sorry, disregard. Three, continue. Uh, 
Three and hot. There's multiple splashes there, but I'm not sure which are still up. I think we killed the entire platoon. I'm I'm off uh, zero two zero. I am uh, behind. No, no. Hey, uh, three. There's still a vehicle there. Uh, let, let's deconflict with uh, Spade. Spade seven. Uh, Warhawk five. Spade seven. Warhawk five. Can you guys hear me in uniform? Okay, for uh, status to attack on the remaining northern one. Say again, is attack in progress, otherwise we're going to frag that vehicle. What did you say? Hey, Breland, release on that. Rifle! Three. Yeah, 7,000 foot bandit. Rifle the remaining SA-8. Turning out. Uh, three weapons. One rifle, one ma uh, one bomb. Four, uh, four has nails, 29. For 240. Back is Gamble 2, is he resting low fuel? Roger that. Uh, flow 0, 9 or 0. Gamble 2, 4, request venture to threat. Gamble 2-4, Dallas, 5, there's threat, Bullseye, 0-4-7-8-0-10, Okay, Gamble 2, Cyborg, status, we're enabled. Uh, gamble 2, by low fuel, uh, by two ingress, uh, two ingress. Yeah. Hey, two, three again. Uh, one is in dry. Alright, Cyborg's gonna two, six, zero for another BDA. Uh, straddle the lane. Confirm you have uh, one by Roger, GB left. Three, one GBU, one uh, oh. map. Roger, stand by. Also, I don't have steel. I believe it was splash, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little bit close. Shall let's break it up. Three, I'm gonna three. I'm gonna delay turn it behind you. Cyborg four two challenge five near threat bullseye. I'm nails twenty nine left ten. And nails twenty seven left uh, nine. Trey nine. Trey nine in front of us. Two. Might be a good time to GTFO. One. Fox three medium. I'm out. I'm defending a, a spike 29. Alpha 2. Freeze it, huh? Alpha 2. 1. Pinball. Hey, uh, Cyborg Who's 4. Engage? Cyborg 4, we're uh, defending spike 29, 190. Cyborg's inbound at 5,000. Two. Fox 3 medium. Looks like that bandit just targeted in. Uh, we have a Fox on him. I have a Nels 27, 190 as well. I've got that guy at 21,000. I got the 14,000 one. Okay, 2, come uh, flow out 026. Yep, 227, 22,000. 3, commit. <laughs> Uh, missile fired, uh, MiG-27, defending. Two, I want you to jettison your tanks. Three. I want Fox you to do a hard off. left turn, bearing 030. Fox 3, 27, 137, 21,000. Gamble, 2, 4, Dallas, 5, contact confirmed. 4, Fox 3, medium. 29. 137, 21. <laughs> 12571, 21,000, turning west, there's a trailer at 20,000, 10 miles in trail. 
Hey, uh, oh, I'm sorted tw uh, 21,000, sort trail uh, BS. Sorted 21,127, I'm good, I'm good, too. Status 10. 3, pitfall. Tens are both down. Missile 5, Fox 3, 12772, 21,000. Oh shit, defending missile. 3 defensive. 3 defensive missile. Altitude. 2 defending. They're both cold in the south. 3 clean. Three's back in. Two back in formation now. Roger that, standby. I was defending close. Uh, nails 27190 again, uh, BS. Hey, uh, I think we're gonna Cyber start. 4, 1, 2, 3, 2, 70, 17, and hey, flow, uh, 020, guys. Two, pinball. Two, pinball. Three out. Three, you still got a store? Three negative. Okay, uh, you're air to air only. Come with the two Fox 3 zone. Hey, front. 134, 43, 21,000. Okay, flow, uh, steer 14. Let's get some altitude. Two. Uh, cyborg, disregard. Spade seven, Warhawk five. Uh, say status weapons. Spade seven. Hey, uh, I'm turning in. Don't forget about those other two SA tens, Chris. Yeah, I know. Uh, they're they're not. If you put the jammer on, they shouldn't be able to engage us really. Five, there's Chris Bullseye. One, two, five, four, eight, ten thousand. Hot, hostile, contact ID is... Cyber recommend Alamo, 29 spec west. Yep, uh... Warhawk 5 is in. Warhawk 5, commit one, two, nine, seven, eight, twelve thousand hot. Three, Joker. Understood. Two, two uh, shoot... Um, 127777, 11,000. Uh, still Fox three one two three seven four twelve thousand. Fox three. Uh, I don't know. Fox three long. Fox three times two twenty seven. Cranking. Winchester out north. Cranking. Uh, Fox four. What's your fuel? One, cheap shot. Four, fuel spade, five, five. Spade seven, Warhawks, five at sea again, uh, say status. Cyborg committed, one, six, nine, Two. six, five. Splash one, fake on the south, the other one's being engaged. Cyborg is out. Spade seven, spade seven, Warhawk five, say status. Yeah. It's a... Uh, Copy, uh, Warhawk, uh, Space 7. Uh, one is down. Uh, three is, uh, Bingo, RTP. Uh, two has, uh, one long stick left, and uh, also about RTP. Okay, Miller time. Uh, all call signs, Miller time, Miller time. Chalice, 5, Gamble, 2, 4, group, bullseye, 1, oh, 3, 1, fuck, 6, I've got an 6, 5, 15,000, declare. You got a what? Gamble, 2, 4, at 16, low, running from the 2, I have to shoot over them. Uh, Warhawk 5, say again, retrograde, northwest, Miller time. 
Two stairs and you're turning in. Okay. Three and four, you gotta get out of there. Uh, three bombs, I have no choice. Two twenty-seven, be high off bank. Three. You committed seven thousand, Breland? Uh, eight for him. Okay, I, I see him. He is cold, I'm out. Roger that. Uh, continue, uh, I, I have him blocked. Or searching for that target, no joy. Uh, uh, four, standby data. Uh. He's, uh, turning cold, too. Yeah, we're fine. Three, just keep turning out. Three. Yeah, three, I'm good. You can probably turn away now. Yep. Uh, I think he's turning back in, potentially, but, um... What's your fuel, three? Uh, two, five. Okay. Four hawks have worked out north. Uh, Ice one, plus two. Three out there to the south. Can you, can you get up to altitude and, uh... Just keep flowing? Two, sh two shoot that guy. Yeah, he's, uh, turning back now. Uh, 15 miles west. I'm going to fire at five now. Two, two start, two start turning away, dude. Crank out. Two dragging. Two pit bull. We're buster to you. Uh, Cyber Force in the north end of the east lane, uh, Winchester, and Bingo. Bingo, 5-1, Dallas, 5, contact confirmed. Uh, 4-say weapons? Uh, uh 227. 4-say weapons? 4, 1 radar, 2 heat. Okay. Uh, just flow, 3-4-0. I think we're good. I think we either splash that guy or he's running, so we should be fine. Yeah. Warhawks uh, flowing three four zero. Uh, we had two slammers on uh, on that flanker. I believe he's defensive. I have one amrep left. Uh, two. Roger that. Warhawk maker will cover you up. Dude, I hope I didn't friendly fire there. I had to to shoot. I had to shoot to defend them. You you didn't. I was I had a pod capture on that S sixteen and your target. You didn't you didn't kill the friendly. Sweet. I'd love to know what they were doing over there. Dude, I don't know. They were slow, low, and that zoo was like breathing down their neck. I had no choice. Watch it. We're gonna look at the acme. It's probably fucking AI. Uh, yeah. The guy who was running out had tanks on, so I don't know what that means. Okay, uh, flight ops check. Uh, I want to know what your fuel and weapons are. Uh, two, I have one MM left and two four zero. Oh, four six. Three fuel two zero one radar. Four fuel four eight one radar two D. Cool. Are we out TD now? We are flowing 350 and then we're going to reference uh, home plate. Uh, we're going to fly.
Information from this one two five five six seven three thousand two three three. Came back alive. Yep. That is trying to forget you don't keep the place. <laughs> Not a joke. Dude, I I totally misidentified that uh the big bird, and then I saw it get splashed by the harm, and I was like, oh, it's fine. Like, cause I guess the harm killed it. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. I don't understand why the second palm doesn't show ready. Did you reselect the steer point? You have to press. You have to, you have to press ten. You have to press ten tango again. Change the steer point and do all the thing again. You have to click ten tango again on the left side. Yes. Ah, oh, right. Is that is that the twenty-seven calling to the south? No. Okay. Watch out for that uh, S8 was. Can they fire this on me? Yes. Just don't don't overfly that was. I'm not. Well, this is this was an imaginary web. Oh, you mean the the, the farther one over? Yeah, I'm aware of that. One. Yep, that's the one. Okay. Um, reference uh, steer one. Referencing steel one two. At Warcock five, uh, Cyborg four, there's some triple A right under our position here on the coast. Roger. Yeah, we had them on the way in. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend lean right around this triple uh, A to three two zero. I didn't see it on the pod. Me neither, but that's what RWR seems to think. Yeah. So do Shot, let's break it so do when I was attacking my there there was a wire or something blocking my track IR and I couldn't move my head I got super disoriented it happened exactly when I did the pop. Yeah, yeah. Fun little uh, treat when you're uh, trying to kill something. Oh yeah, yeah. When you clothesline yourself. I don't even, dude. I like blacked out. I don't even know who killed the flap. Then was that me? I, that, that was you. I didn't. I never released on it. Okay, yeah, I think it was me. Is there a first one or a second one? First, uh, SE-10. I don't know. I don't know. Two of the SE-8s and that was it. I, I blacked out and went into a battle trance. I don't even know what happened. Alice, five, take over. Bullseye, zero, two, three, six, seven, two thousand. Declare. Miko, five, three, talent. Five, uh, four, you could, if you got fuel, you could just review on one and two a lamp by myself. Okay. What's your what's your fuel at home, Blade? Uh, like three hundred. Yeah, six hundred forty.
I guess that's the advantage of bringing like a golf is that you have really good image clarity on the Maverick. I should have what I should have done is I should have looked at I should have looked at it on the pod and then been like, oh, it's a big bird. But I I just was looking I was padlocked on the Maverick. Oh uh, yeah, I was looking on the pod. Um, and I saw that. He said, "Flap the left." I'm looking at like it's roundish. I think it's the big bird. And I look over and I can like kind of see the black lid obscured by the like bright ass nuclear plant. And then I watch the big bird blow up. So and the tentacles was blocking, so it had to be the black lid I was looking at. I thought I was dead because I came off, and then I started getting like the chirping uh, tracking tone. I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah, it almost certainly launched in you. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna get my fuel up to 800 and he'll play it, I'll be fine. Make a 53, Fox 30246 three, 3, hot, MIA. He's a robot. Gotta watch out for that PKM. Yep. Separate force pushing to Jungwoon, alternate for fuel, and switching up tactical safe.
cyborg check that one. Approach request overhead approach. Uh, comms. Tower request landing. Yeah, we'll be switching uh, to Tower. Cyber Force, 8 miles south of Chungwoon. Uh, we'll be doing an overhead break, uh, 3 6 left. Cyber Force, 8 miles southeast of Chungwoon. We'll be doing an overhead break, 3 6 left. Push approach. Okay. Warhawk 5 1, 3 ship, F 16. Bingo now. Miles, east, 3 0. Inbound for over Atlantic. Good afternoon, Warhawk 5 1, John Bond. Approach. You're cleared all the way in. Flip overhead approach. Runway 3 6 right. Welcome back. Q in H2 9 9 3. All right, I'm going to start a uh, 10 degree nose down descent. Two. Do you know how to do an overhead brake landing? Uh, yes, I do. What's the runway heading? 36 right. 36018, okay.
Is it going to be left brake or right brake? It's going to be a right brake. Okay. Nico, 5 1, Gen Bond, approach, runway 36, right for landing. Nico, 5 4, Gen Bond, approach, traffic 5 o'clock, 2 miles. Alright, Mako 5, setting up for a 10 mile initial runway 36 left. Boards out. Sidewalk for two. Yep. Gen Bond Tower. Next time get a clearance before landing. Nico, 5 1. Gen Bond approach. Runway 36 right for landing. Nico, 5 1. Contact tower for landing. Switch to 2 3 0 1 5. Sidewalk for two. Contact tower. Switch to 2 3 0 1 5. Altitude. Altitude. Four, three, Altitude. Next time, get a clearance before landing. Wow, flat one. Contact tower for landing. Switch to two, three, zero, one, five. Sidewalk four, three. Contact tower. Switch to two, three, zero, one, five. Speed seven two. Declaring an emergency. Three wheels down. Gen Bond Tower, next time get a clearance before landing. Waha, 5 4, contact. Alright, uh, 2 push uniform 3. What I need to do? Uh, go, uh, switch your uniform radio to 3. Uh, you don't have to, uh, but that's where we're gonna call the, in the break and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna shoot for three thousand feet uh, for when we get to the runway. Okay. Spade seven three turn one tower taxi clear of the runway. Cam idle throttle. Spade seven three down, contact low switch two seven five nine idle. zero. Taxi clear of the runway. Warhawk 53, contact low. Switch to 7590. Warhawk 54, contact low. Switch to Warhawk 5 1 on the break. Chaff, flare, chaff, flare, out. Warhawk 5 2 for the break. I'd give anything for a proper Allied Force campaign. That was my favorite one in Allied Force. Oh, thanks, dude. That's, yeah, that's like a real life. You just. Four, four, turn one, tower. I'm Taxi visual clear too. I'm visual too. Check comms. Uh, Warhawk five one on the perch. Warhawk five two on approach. Sideboard 43, contact low, switch to 7590. 
work uh, five one final runway three six right. Mako five four on final. Mako five four unable contact approach zero six seven zero. Five two. Mako, five Thank one, contact low, switch to seven five nine zero. Eject. Warhawk five, turn one, tower, expedite departure, incoming traffic. Uh, what just happened? Two, is that you? Yeah, he said he was gonna go around and then crash at the threshold. That's one way to do it. <laughs> I thought he was gonna make it back alive too, it was so close. I have a flat line emergency. Say that again. Fire equipment is rolling. Total recovery is number 30. Alright, I'm backing out. Holy shit, Batman, that SA 11's uh, sight. Man, we took out their snowdrift, we took out three uh, TLRs, so. A EU meet some meet up somewhere. Yeah, and, and like Leuwarden Airbath was like Streak and the Masters and, and Stevie, and then Stevie comes comes shout, na, shouting at me like, Chris Gott, I'm the Steffen. Oh my whatever god. You, whatever no, your no, first, no, 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 whatever no, no, your first no. name is, I don't know. Stefan. No, oh, Scheiß Stefan, ja, wie mein Bruder, das kann ich mir gut merken. Das ist das Scheiß. Was? Jawohl. Ja, go ahead. I crash on my final. I know, I heard uh, Domesto <laughs> saying eject, and I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And then I heard, like, the, the crushing noise behind me. <laughs> Cl it's clunk. so hard to, to, to manage the separation, you know. My yeah. first time going. Just give it power and go I thought around, it was you who said, uh. Yeah. I thought it was you who said it was going around, and then, like, you kept. Going for yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I tried. It was an aspirational go work. around. <laughs> it, it was, uh, I know I should go around. That's the right thing to do, but not going to do that. I've made a lot of landing since then. But I've never Better made a lot of like that. <laughs> I just slicked her it. How you doing, Force? It's good to see you. Oh, dude, all these people, man. Holy, dude, I, I'm telling you, that BMS sortie I just flew was like probably some of the most fun I've had in a flight sim since, uh, man, last time I flew BMS, so. One of us. It's One of us. Sehr us. One of us. <laughs> it's almost the reason why we do this instead of uh, DCS. Yeah. Like, dude, I, like, <laughs> there's times. Yeah, there's there's times for DCS, but, dude, I anymore, man, it's like I just got to not know what, what's, like, what the enemy is. Like, I want, like, a dynamic campaign. I want. You know, like, I had no idea there was AAA on the target I struck today. I, I don't know. It was fucking awesome, so. I think I shot a friendly. But don't know who that is. Good good to have you back, Force. Well, we'll see yeah. in there. The yeah, yeah. I need Sadly, somebody to, to hate to hate with me against all those Russians. 
Oh, I know. I uh, dude, I haven't seen you unleashed recently. The sad thing is, I literally am leaving for a month. I, I won't be on for another month. Uh, Scheiße. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you should come visit us at Mission Gladbach. Me, Stevie, Streak. It's gonna be good fun. Yeah, once this like COVID shit ends for some reason, I uh, I'll uh, definitely be there. Nice, loving it. Chad, Stevie, will get you drunk on wine. Yeah, I yeah, can do it dry, on wine or get, on beer. I'm, I'm, I'm beer. Yeah, I'm also gonna get some, so some good German beer and just make false <laughs> bad. I, bad I, shit. Buy, I buy al alcoholic, you know. It's it's beer or wine. It's okay. Oof. <laughs> it's funny. All right. Is everyone? Is, is, do we know what poison's up to? Um. Like no, he's. Uh, he was careful. Yeah, he's. Uh, he's landing. He's good. We can go ahead. See. Was he still, is he still is he landing? landing? Yeah, yeah, he was just behind me, so he, he should be okay. in here. Dude, that was, hey, Krauss, that was so much oh, fun. Yeah, I, I, he's, he's on the runway now. <laughs> he just, just wheels down. <laughs> yeah, just uh, wait to you know. BMS, man, is the goat. Oh. Yeah. It's like the, I like this campaign, too. This campaign is like a good balance of distance and threats oh. and... Krauss, that wasn't him landing. That was you taking back off. Everyone's down. <laughs> Poison did like some weird. I don't know if it was the game or what, but there was. I saw like from my view, it was like a weird gear up landing and then exploded. Okay, cool. I don't know. All right, uh, so we're gonna start our debrief. So if you can try to keep it to three or four minutes, go over your high level plan. Um, what went well? What didn't go well? What could be improved for next time? We're gonna start. We're gonna go in uh, call sign order. So. Starting with Warhawk 5, which is my call sign. Warhawk 5, our objective was to destroy SA-10 South. Uh, we also briefed that if SA-10 North was not killed, that we would kill it. Um, and then our secondary objective was to sort and destroy the Eastern uh, SA-8s that were uh, in the center of the objective area. Um, our game plan was um, shooter, suppressor, s suppressor, sh shooter and then suppressor um we were gonna have a simultaneous mav uh, maverick attack um with a five second spacing between each call sign and um sorry i'm trying to do admin shit at the same time give me one second <laughs> i feel like stop the server um one second Or the server could just crash. That, that can happen too. Cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was our plan. Five second staggering, um, attacking from an IP. Uh, we were going to approach uh, by the ocean, avoid the mud along the coast, um, and come in uh, to the north northeast of the target area. So uh, what happened? Uh, we got there, um, run in. Um, it was, it was, we were exactly on time, exactly on carrot. Um, and I uh, went in the pop and I uh, saw my harm splash the big bird misidentified that as a flap lid kill um, three was like nah dude the flap lid's still in front of the plant um, he went off dry I went off uh, we rejoined at the IP did a reattack uh, I killed the flap lid with a maverick um, and then we rejoined um, at that time as we said SA10 south down uh, spade was calling out SA10 north was down so, uh, you know, from our point of view, the two strategic sands were down in that area. Um, quickly talked about uh, the SA-8 uh, sorting as per contract. Got capture on the SA-8's vicinity of the center of the town next to the factories. Um, then we did a... We adjusted the sort because they were arrayed uh, north to south. And uh, we were taking the southern ones. Spade was sorted on the northern ones. Um, engage and destroyed... Uh, I think it was six SA-8s. Might have been four, I'm not sure. There's other vehicles in there, but we at least killed four of them. Um, through uh, a MAV attack and a GBU attack, uh, we killed uh, that entire um, platoon. Then we remained on station. I was trying to understand what Spade was doing. It was never really clear to me. I assumed they were still attacking ground stuff, but it was quite unclear. So we were like, okay, we'll just fly cap until they do finish whatever they're doing. Uh, had a number of sets with 
uh, flankers and MiG 29s. I believe we killed two or three of those bandits. Um, and then we RTB'd uh, with minimal fuel. Minimal fuel. Um, on landing, Chu had a uh, crashed, like he physically crashed uh, his plane into the runway, and uh, yeah, I don't think he, he was able up. to eject. And, uh, he blew no, up. I can't. It's too close to the so, ground. So that happened. Um, Alright, <laughs> well went well. Um, so I think the plan was good that we had. Uh, it was ex executed more or less flawlessly, so that was good. The timing was good. Uh, for two, um, good job getting that harm off. Uh, good job staying in formation, uh, especially considering that you're you're newer. I thought you did a great job staying in formation, staying visual Thanks. most of the time. Um, for three, um, great job. Uh, like you, you did as fragged, which was you were supposed to continue your attack, even if I, even if someone had called a splash to get a positive BDA. Because of that, you noticed that the BDA was invalid. You were able to get a capture on the flap lid, which probably saved our ass. And then you were able to get a mark point and send that along. So that was really good, um, and that allowed for my attack and then killing the flap lid. So that was awesome. Um, also, good job with the GBU attacks on the. SA-8s, a good sort, and quick target identification. Um, number four, um, I think there was a couple points where you saved number three's ass from a bandit, which was awesome. Uh, you did a good job staying, staying in formation, and uh, the harm employment looked solid. Uh, we'll see in the ACMI, but it seems solid. The timing seems solid. As I was coming off from my initial attack, I heard you fire in harm, so that was great. Um, what could be improved? As I got the flat lid. Awesome. Awesome. Um... What could be improved? Um, for myself, um, misidentifying the target as uh, misidentifying that first radar, the Big Bird, and confusing that the flap lid was a major fuck up. Um, I was padlocked on the Maverick page and not the targeting pod page. I should have been looking at the targeting pod page to get a better identification. I had a Mav D, and I was like, yeah, it looks like a radar. That's probably our thing. Um, and got target fixated. Still k killed it, but uh, killed the wrong radar. I'm um, in the first in the first run, um, so that's a debrief point for myself. I also um, had a track IR malfunction on my second run and almost had issues going into the SA8 Wes, um, and should have aborted about five seconds earlier. Um, number two, uh, so we already went over this in the air, but just to reiterate what happened there with your second harm is you have to reselect the type of radar uh, and the steer point every time you use the pause mode so because you didn't click 10 tango on your second harm it didn't know mm -hmm. the weapon didn't know what what sort of radar you wanted it to fire at it doesn't assume the last setting so you have to tell yep. it what to fire um okay for um number three uh i don't have any debrief points i don't think i think i think there is one point where you were where you were committed deep, nah, you, that's not even debrief point, you were, you were, I was cold and you were committed and covering my ass. Um, I, do you have anything? I don't have anything for you. Maybe when we look at the Su-27 thing, but we'll have to see in the Acme. Yeah, it got a little hairy, um, but that, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I guess one debrief point is, uh, here is one debrief point. I didn't realize you were going Bunzai, uh, good thing to calm that, um, because, I didn't realize what was going on. I uh, I, re I realized it as you were. I realized it after the fact, and then I was covering you, and it worked out fine. But uh, I didn't realize what your intentions were there. Um, number four. Um, I don't have any debrief points. Do you have anything? Oh, I'm good. Enjoyed it. Cool. Um, we'll go on to uh, whoever's next. I'm doing that. I have to go back to doing admin shit. Space seven. Space seven. Yeah, space seven. Um, we were the deed on the northern SA ten. Um, we were three ship. Um, the plan was to go in there, uh, get capture, loft some JDAMs, uh, and then proceed to the SA eight, the secondary target. Um, so we went in, did a few spins to get on carrot. Uh, pushed after the we had the the Rolex, and we pushed. When we uh, went NOE, uh, we had engagement. Uh, we had or we were encountered by AAA, so we uh, altered our flight plan a bit to the north. Uh, went in, 
uh, on the way in, um, we stuck our head out and uh, Tree uh, got capture on the flaplet, uh, sent us the the mark point, and the plan was to uh, do a simultaneous or uh, in a trail shoot the shooter suppressor. Um, one and a three shooter and number two uh, last guy uh, with the harms uh, and we w uh, the plan was to do uh, JDAM loft on the flatlet uh, as we know hung stores uh, etc so we, we decided to do it both double tap the target uh, went in lofted bombs did come off um, number two shot the harm unfortunately on the wrong target, uh, but um, uh, nevertheless, so SA-10 North was down. Uh, we spawned once, uh, did uh, set up a, a wagon wheel, and um, then we communicated that, communicated with Warhawk about the SA-8. Uh, this is where when uh, where things started to get a bit uh, hairy. Uh, more on that later. Um, as Number two was finished with his harms. Uh, he went air to air, um, pushed away to uh, 29s, I think, uh, killed one, uh, sent the other one defensive. And um, then I got uh, number, one, number three was already low on fuel, so he had to RDP. He had some, some serious troubles in his cockpit. We'll have to talk about that also later. And I was hit. Uh, by a 29, I uh, got merged uh, somewhere that sneaked into me. I tried to evade it, evaded one missile. Ricey killed it, uh, but just a few minutes, a uh, few seconds too late. Uh, that was basically the package. So what went well? I think the plan was good. I think the communication was very good until it wasn't. Um, uh, number two. Um, I think you did an awesome job um, with with the air to air, and with the overall SA, where we are, where the bad guys. Ooh, there are some leakers from the south, uh, so you uh, um, engage them. That was that was really really good. Number three, always a pleasure having you as as a as a number three. That's that's uh, uh, standing on the shoulder of of giants for me. And um, so um, that was that was really good. You you. Uh, also in the briefing, the, the, the mark point you sent, that was really, really good. What didn't uh, went well? First, uh, when uh, Kraus uh, had to talk, talk me into the, the SA-8, I had capture and I was happy, so I turned around and as I came closer and zoomed in, I realized that wasn't the, the SA-8 I was looking at, it was some AAA guns. Uh, so the rest of the time I was trying to get fucking capture on that bloody SA-8 and I didn't get it. Um, so that was bad and uh, with the um, the higher my frustration and stress went, the more ziplip I became. So that my that was really, really bad. Um, I should have done that better. Also that, that, SN, SN, uh, that uh, MiG-29, um, um, I have to look at closer at the uh, tech view, but that was also... Not that good. Uh, number two, uh, you have to uh, the the harms did change a lot uh, for for three six. So um, um, please look that up. Also, that you shot at the wrong target at at uh, at our um, at our first attack. That that wasn't so good. Um, and number three, yeah, maybe. Um, uh, when we did the wagon wheel, you decided to go hunting for Tunguskas, which is cool, but I, I felt a bit um, alone there, desperately trying to find the SE-8. Um, but I should have just, if, if, I, if I would have wanted it, I should have called that. So that's about it. Anything else, Streak? Yeah, the, the SE-8s were a bit too far in, into the city, so we had to clean okay. the edges first. So that's, uh, that's okay. why. I stayed on the uh, uh, two S6s. Okay, understood. Thank you. Um, Apex? Uh, no, nothing to add here. Good. That's the story of Speed 7. Cool. Um, up next is Make a 5. Uh, we came up, our plan was to 
toss some bombs at an SA-11 site. We assumed that the uh, FSB is continuing to sabotage our PGMs, so we went with two ships of 84s and two ships of harms. Uh, came up. At the Marshall Point, we picked up a pair of uh, 29s at 40, 50 miles, decided uh, let's not make that our problem, and turned around. And uh, Gamble, who was our escort, was right behind us uh, and called out on the radio, asked them to delouse. So I was really surprised to see them uh, turn cold with us. And then I think Cyborg eventually swept through, cleared those guys. Uh, we went downhill, went NOE. Uh, great flight plan. Uh, kept us in a bunch of valleys uh, between all the mud that, was, that would have caused us trouble. We popped up about 10, 15 miles in. Uh, before the SA-11s, uh, we had briefed that there was going to be a ridge there, so we were going to pop up, get capture, get resituated, and then head back in uh, and commence our attack once we had zapped each other a uh, precision steer point for the SA-11s. Um, that went okay. I think there was a lot of helmet fire uh, in the whole flight because um, we had originally briefed. Uh, we're going to like toss 84s from like four or five miles and get out. Uh, instead, what ended up happening was we did a like simultaneous pop-up dive attack on the 11s. Um, so I saw a pair of Vipers fly by me and point at the target, and I was like, I don't know what's going on, so I'll just start shooting harms, and I think Abe did the same. Whatever the fuck happened, it worked out for the most part. Uh, I think we had direct impacts on one big group of uh, 11 Tellars, I think there's a couple left, so that site isn't completely out of order, uh, but we had good effects overall. Uh, flew out cold, again, no trouble going back north. Uh, got out of the 10 wes, popped up to 20,000 feet, started looking around. Uh, Force suggested we take a look um, at that SA-8 site, SA site uh, nearby. Picked it up on TGP, and then it de-egged all of it in front of me. That was pretty wild seeing like two battalions disappear. Um, Abe strafed some helicopters. Uh, and then we look south on data link and there's this big clusterfuck going on still over the East coast. Uh, so as you guys start flowing back North, we flew South to Delouse, splash to Sioux 33. Uh, awesome job gump there and uh, shot another two very, very, very dangerous uh, MI-26s and then landed. Uh, things that went well, um, all in all, great comm from everyone. Like, had pretty good SA the whole way through. Uh, Gump, in particular, awesome sorting, awesome BVR engagements. I think you got two kills there. Um, things that could have been better. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll talk about it more in the TAC view, or if you guys can clue me in. Like, I think we just had a lot of helmet fire when we actually hit the target, and it wasn't clear to me who was doing what when. Uh, but I think that's about all I've got. You guys have anything to add? A quick note from 5-3. Uh, as far as low altitude tactics, I think this situation and what we were trying to do is, would be a great example of going low altitude, so good job for mission planning. And then the last thing I'll say is uh, deconfliction, low altitude. So there were times where element people were blind on each other and that sort of thing. So easy mitigation there is you have a white line on, on the 2D, which is the flight plan. And just in mission plan, you can say, hey, one element, if you go blind, one element is west of the line, three element is east of the line. You could fly with that deconfliction all the way to the target and then recommend on the egress, you just basically swap. Uh, so you're expecting, you know, or I guess you could maintain the same. Either way, just use the white line as a deconfliction measure, and uh, yeah, smart. Yeah. Smart. All right, sounds like cyborg. Uh, so, let me unscrew my stuff here. Uh, so I've been fighting rig issues, tech issues lately. Uh, they they rode their ugly head today. Uh, we took off. Uh, noted that the tight timing on the brief. So we rolled uh, like kind of a little bit early because I knew we were going to be behind if we didn't. So uh, we're driving all the way across from wherever we were over there, Osan or something. And uh, 
you know, people are getting engaged in the East and we're, we're still way out to the West, both cap flights coming from the West. So uh, not really in great position to support those early engagements after we passed everybody uh, got out there. I think AI maybe took a shot into the first of those two MIGs. Uh, we watched that thing die. And then uh, the second one turned in. Uh, I was up in the lead of Cyborg. We commit on those guys called that commit. Uh, I took my shot after hanging stores uh, for no apparent reason, because I just did a takeoff and flew on autopilot. So uh, there's really no reason at all for that thing to have hung. Um, uh, anyway, I also wound up g glitching uh, on the out. I get hit. My missile hits him. He's dead. I come back in and join in two. And then we continue down to the cap. Uh, we did low level for a while. It was pretty quiet in the east at first. Um, once the two tens went down, we climbed back up and stayed outside of the other two tens. Uh, our cap was right outside of them. So we had pretty good visibility and pretty good comms with everybody for a while. Heard the other cap uh, say that they were RTB. And so like my game plan right then was we're gonna shift west and try to cover more to the west. But right about the time that that happened, uh, all kinds of shit kicked off in the east. So we fought our way, uh, uh, through several several leaps, right, uh, trying to force those guys south until eventually we were basically out of fuel and starting to run out of weapons. Um, what went well? Uh, basically, the all that stuff I just said as far as game plan uh, went pretty well according to plan. What didn't go so well is that we broke down on our element plan. So I wound up with three a lot, and Rice, he was like by himself a lot. So we were not we didn't stick together in elements the way that one would expect. Uh, that led also, uh, we also got a little south, but that was sort of intentional because we're trying to cover down against the other cap. Uh, and uh, it looks like Ricey caught a 120. I don't know who it came from, but we'll look at it in the Acme. Uh, he, he was like flying north, like chilling. And he's like, yeah, so like there's a missile on me. <laughs> and we're like, uh, the only enemy in the area shouldn't be shooting at you. And he's like, well, I guess I'm defending. And then he was a fireball. So uh, we'll take a look at that in the Acme. Uh, what went well for the flight? Uh, our interflight communication, I thought was, it was okay. We, we talked to each other and kept track of who was where. Uh, as far as talking to the other groups and the package, uh, a lot of times uh, there would be enemy coming in and requests for us to engage and we're like, yeah, we're tracking them, but we're not exactly in position. So it takes a, it takes a minute to get in position uh, to go ahead and go and play over there. So that could probably be improved. Uh, when we went to move west, we dropped back down uh, to low altitude because we knew we were going back into those other two 10 Uh Don't think we got any 10s launched at us today, though. So that's fine. Um, overall, decent job. Uh, number three, uh, I think, brought back all of his weapons. So I don't know why, but, you know. Uh, with that many red air, you should probably, I don't know, be more aggressive about shooting more. Some of that's positioning and timing, but uh, some of it's like, you know, going a little bit more going how I don't know. Uh, anything else from three and four? That's about it for Cyborg. Um, no, nothing from three. I think we did a good job staying in our area. Uh, sometimes we got a little bit chaotic when um, the deed flights started engaging the air targets in the area and I got a little confused on who's engaging what everybody was strobing so it was kind of confusing there when it got heavy sweet sounds like that's about it for several cool okay hey, so uh, yeah. yeah um so for for gamble um uh, what I would have is uh we started uh, a little behind carrot, and then we we sped up to to make the carrot. Uh, but then we were a little bit late uh, and behind um, the Mako flight, which caused uh, a little bit of a of a trouble and the pain uh, in the first engagement with those twenty nines because we were pretty far away and basically um, line of rest with them, uh, which led to some some trouble on their part. Uh, so that was. Uh, my timing issue, um, and then we engaged those 29s, um, but Mako was engaged with them already, 
uh, and then we had to defend the same time they had to defend uh, but then we turned hot like earlier than they did so we were ahead of them pretty much uh, then they went to the SA-11 WES uh, which we weren't going to trespass uh, and they had some 29s uh, on their 12 o'clock basically on their ringers rat uh, we were monitoring them, but we were pretty far away, pretty helpless in that. Uh, there was one leaker from the first group, actually, uh, that was attacking, was basically flanking them from the west. Uh, we called it, uh, they, they called it, and we were already engaging that, uh, so they could actually continue to, to the target. What I would have uh, for my flight here would be um, the overall weapon employment. Uh, because as far as I could see, the only one who fired other than me was Mailman, uh, who got shot down, by the way, in the second engagement by an SA-15, which led to uh, an entire uh, clusterfuck and on, on, our, uh, on our game plan, basically, because uh, 4 was, uh, was not having a lead anymore. I had to micromanage 2 and 4 at the same time. Uh, meantime, there were a couple of MiG-29s um, at the target area of Mako. Eventually, we uh, deloused them for the last part, and then they went on egress route. Uh, we followed them, uh, but that put us a little too far from, from the action site. We thought we were low on fuel and we were going to escort them back, but that was, uh, I think, uh, a big mistake on my part because uh, it led me away from uh where the action started with the su-33s and i was too far away from that um what i tried then was get back uh but it was pretty chaotic by then uh because spade was uh basically i think trying to finish their attack or something and warhawk as well i think they were about finished when the su-33s came in or came close by any means uh so we were basically out of any fuel left to actually gate or do anything BVR with Su-33s. But um, yeah, so so that was it. And from then we we just retrograded uh, to home plate. So what could be improved? Definitely weapon employment because I was the only one shooting and that's not supposed to happen. Um, because yeah, the separation and the grinder wasn't you know that good. Uh, I agree, it was a bit of a chaotic thing, but still, uh, the grinder didn't nearly go as well as it should have been. And uh, yeah, the comms, the overall comms, because I wasn't aware of what uh, the elements are doing. Uh, I didn't know that 3 was down until I think about good uh, 2 or 3 minutes. And that wasn't supposed to happen either, but uh, I'll give it to the chaotic environment and the fact that uh, we've never flown before so uh, I think 2 is already uh, or 4 is already gone so uh, 2 and 3 uh, I'll have that for you but uh, I hope in the future we can synchronize and, and yeah uh, work together a little better uh, on the comms and weapons employment so uh, yeah if, uh, if there's anything I have left over that you want to add feel free to No, no for the. All right. Okay, so that, that's about it. Yeah, so that's it for our high level debrief. At this point, we're going to look at the ACMI. Uh, if you need to run and you're short on time, thanks for attending. Please fill out the survey that I've sent you. Otherwise, if you want to stick around and uh, check out the ACMI, Razgris is hosting it in. He just put the um, IP address in the Saturday BMS events channel. And. Uh, the ACMI is here. I just said yeah, here. If you right. click on Breland's, yep, okay. You take Breland's? Yeah, he was kind enough to label everyone. Right. Thank you, Woodbite. Cool. Experience the battle, <laughs> dissect the tactics, relive the dark. Good dog fight. Outstanding. All right, everyone takes off, heads, weast.
We can pick up these MiG 29s. Which like AY is calls them not, um, not loading. It's the names one. If you click on uh, either Krauser or my uh, post. So we decide we'll skip these. We assume there's a bunch of cap behind us. Oh, Alibi okay. In, yeah. Sorry, what's up? Alibi from Forest, dude. There's one time where I'm literally locked on you this whole time, and then, like, for some reason, I lock onto another formation. I, I don't know when it happens, but it's... Hilarious. Ah, we got sorted. And I, I owe an apology to Gamble, because I thought this was Gamble behind us, and I was like, why the fuck are they turning with us? No, that was Warhawk and Kraus, and they also... Didn't want to uh, fight these twenty nines. Gamble's over okay. here. I'm I'm actually ahead of the hold point right now. Look I was that. Look at that. I was trying to I was trying to uh, I had like a so I th I had a bug where my pod when I would do missile step it would turn black. Um, cool, cool. And I was able to like repro that pretty reliably. So awesome. I, was, I was fucking with that, which why I extended past the hold point. Cyborg was nuts on carrot until we committed on this. So yeah, like, thanks for sweeping through and taking this, the taking care of this shit. I'm I'm just saying like we were flying carrot and we were oh God. way out of yeah. position for you guys. No, we were definitely. Oh! Can you uh, rewind that yeah. and check the distance? Yeah. Hung store, hung store, glitch, glitch, glitch. When when? Is oh the, man! What is the distance when they fire? Oh, About that was a southeast. Yeah, see, so you're in uh, you're in bonsai range right now. Way, way inside the Mar. Well, it's tail aspect, huh? But that's correct. Woo! Is he, is he tail aspect, or...? Yeah. Yeah, no, he's uh, tail and bonsai is not a bad tagging. Woo! No, Can't defend that. Go faster! Whoa. Go faster! Only thing you can do there is a is a break turn, and hope for the best. Yeah. So I didn't exit before he got hit. So missile did not deag. Nice. Too much Novocaine. What, did everyone go to the dentist? Or... <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, you're, you're the one who got hit BS? I thought it was Ricey. No, it was BS. No, Ricey gets killed later. Oh. She rejoined on an AI or something? Yeah, I came back in as number two. Did you not notice that BS's wingman was himself? I this was nice. Was this was... Desk. This, this is still outside the. Uh... I can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely job here, at Gump. Uh, yes. Immediate sort. And like my guy was lead, and then he cranks off, and I say, "Okay, you keep your target. I've got this guy." Sorts, shoots, crank, shoot, out. And that one just turned that guy cold. He comes back several times after that. That's okay. Ooh, damn. That guy turns around right into it. That, that's okay. We briefed that uh, that's what we were going to do, right? We were going to yep. push him away and let the cap uh, sort the rest out. And that's exactly, exactly what we did. So, fantastic job. And I think Gamble picks this guy up. Yeah, nice job, Abe, from uh, Mako 5 4 for just holding on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, for a while since I've been a wingman. Ooh. Where's that going? I definitely got stripped. Mailman. Oh no! Oh no! Nah. I apparently flew by a two ship of twenty sixes. Did not see I them at him all. Out. I called. Yeah, called I know. Him out. No, he called them out, but I said, "Well, we got more important things to look for." Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I heard that. I was like, I don't know where the fuck that is, but we're going to skip it. Yeah, I, I heard a skip it. Yeah. So that was excellent fighter pilot discipline. I, I resisted the temptation. Of <laughs> which is like so, the thing we do really well in the E-10. 
but did you at least have a middle finger as you well. as you flew by? You know what's funny? I think we end up killing those guys later. The same guy. Yeah. Uh huh. I think so. Well, there were quite a few of them out there. Gamble flag. This is basically why I'm I'm saying about the weapons employment. Because oh I was expecting God. you guys to actually prosecute this guy. And five five just... four four baby. Well, did, did yeah, you the tell classic him, five, you tell five, him to press? Four, four defense. Yeah, I was telling him to press to continue. Okay. Uh, Love that. Come out over the top. Yeah, my tactic is just go straight in the vertical. In the uh, Fox Street Barber. <laughs> roll, 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 yeah. roll out. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at this fucking acceleration. I mean, it is a fulcrum, but still. We're, we're at 30,000 feet. Roll out. Oh, plug man. the blowers. Yeah. Bam. I love it. Warp Supersonic. Up. That's how airplanes work. Yeah. That really yeah. Um, exposes limitations of the flight models, huh? When they yeah, actually models. start, when they, they def when they defend, yeah, yeah, when they can magically defend. I also love when, whenever you get the pipper on a target, it just knows right then to jink. Like even yeah. helicopters. Now, now, now's the time to do like a gun snake or a, yeah, like a snaking defense. <laughs> That's not where you want to be. All right. Well, despite his magic tricks, we he watched, still died. We watched this guy blow up on pod. But guys, they uh, they, when nice. they see your bottom, they want to defend. That's right, yeah, this here, bottom. <laughs> what happened there? If mailman. you see... Uh, yeah, what, what, what actually <laughs> happened to Mailman? I mean, what were you guys doing there? Airplane. The bullets cross you behind you. When you see his... Oh, you're starting on racing. Ah, bottom here. And if I go here, a <laughs> big problem. <laughs> uh, that's a... <laughs> Of course, you, you haven't learned about seeing seeing uh, the bandit's bottom. Uh, okay, man, no. Is dangerous. <laughs> Triple A dangerous. Twenty twenty two. Ow! Ow! Tor is even more dangerous. Oh man! Yep. And Dingo is like, I'm gonna get, get out of here. With it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out. Yeah, it's just it's the right thing to do. You see your lead blow up, you run the fuck away. Okay, let's watch this fucking goat rope. This is great. The SA9 is an IR SAM launched from an IFV. Some the Let me just listen to the SA9. Okay, hold on. Uh, was there a threat call on the SA15 on on like package comms? Because if there was, we probably could have done something about it. I know it was really close, but just make sure you're doing the threat reaction comm on the uh, on the prime. Okay, so here's our target. I'm popping up, popping up, popping up. I. Amazed I didn't die here because like SA tens blaring away. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, but, but I mean the SA tens are like fifty miles away. It's gonna take several yeah. minutes for their launch to reach you. Yeah. So you got a you got a few seconds to pop. But yeah, it was terrifying. True. Those things go fucking fast too, though. So. <laughs> Ten on the inner ring, man. I just we just both split. And and I'm like now is when I have a brain fart and forget how to make a mark point. I'm like I C P O seven. <laughs> Everyone gets back down. We're gonna spin here. We brief that. Um, well, so I got the mark point. Yep, and use that to us. I was on the snowdrift, but I saw Please. what I thought were tellers next to it. So I just I used that as the mark point. Yeah, that was so pretty good. They were... Where do you take this mark? Is it now? Out of curiosity. No, it was there... it was earlier. We we was already passed through it right there. You just took a mark like... and you saw them. Yeah, yeah, well, here, if, uh, here, can I have control for a sec? So, like, I've got line of sight right there. Okay. So, so, I mean, like, I and saw that. We had that pre plan steer point, get, right? Yeah, it was like, right on the way, on the steer point. So, okay, yep. you can have it back. I just wanted to show the. There was line of okay. sight, just barely. Okay. And I think part of the reason that the mark point was not great was that it's such a low angle that I no. took it from. It was but, good enough. We got visual ID. Like that's the thing is we did a recce pass or the equivalent of something, so we knew there was a threats in there. So we could reset and then yeah. do it more deliberately. Circle up the wagons, and then come. Did I get right returned on the wrong person? Or no? I think I found. I... <laughs> yeah, you found me. Did you see me pass you there, Roz? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I saw you, and then I was blind again, so I know. <laughs> no, like, was brief, I right? Behind you. Yeah. So now. I'm like two. I'm, I'm. Hey, I'm two miles behind you. This is just as briefed. But what I expect to happen now is you're. 
eight miles. All right. And Raz, I'm uh, going to ask for a HUD view on my jet after after you watch them. <laughs> oh yeah, this whole thing's great. So I see you start to pop up. So I heard that I was line of sighted until just now, right? so I didn't really know what was happening because um, I was in a couple mile trails as briefed, so as I could get like the TOT, like the heart, like the Light time on target board. strike with the harm. <laughs> So you tried to pop and then you tried again, though. Yeah, well, and I thought we were gonna do. I thought we were gonna do two pops, but then like yeah, yeah, force and gump are out in front of me. This is A10 standard right here. Watch this. <laughs> diving. This is a force <laughs> classic right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So like, I, what I thought what I thought was gonna happen is like here back, we're back, gonna do a toss. <laughs> yeah, I just did what I wanted basically, but it, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. I was like, well, I guess we'll keep suppressing, and then Abe starts shooting his arms. Well, Abe's arm hits the uh, snowdrift, I think. Oh okay, so God. Gump... Oh, he's doing a pop-up attack. Oh, nice. Okay, so Gump, Gump does a nice, nice, like a 20-degree toss, comes off left. Great. Uh, yeah, I didn't pop up enough there. I was kind of helmet fire on the ground there, trying not to hit the mountains. Meanwhile, Shoot. so... But what did you... What were, your, what were your avionics like when you fired that, when you launched that? Were you on the steer point? Did you slew the pod I was, on your, I was on your mark point. I did not see huh. the um, Tellar. Yeah, the mark okay. point, I think, was on those two front trucks. I don't think so, but... Um, or at least... I don't think it was. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, pickle there. Nice. 4,000 feet. <laughs> yeah. It's a 7G turn level turn. What's the uh, what's the blast rate? What's the frag radius of an eighty four? Two thousand feet. Yeah, it yeah. should be three thousand <laughs> vertical in all directions. No, no, but do, I no, I safe escape. I'm yeah. Good. Oh yeah. Very safe. Very safe. <laughs> That's yeah, eternal. It it. Here's a tour yeah. for added measure. <laughs> or I think it's just a Gaskin, but yeah. So. The SA-9 is an IR SAM launched from an IFV. Some vehicles are equipped with a microwave receiver to detect emissions oh, no, from enemy 19? aircraft. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, so there's man. a Tunguska shooting at us. Let's go. And then one key point on pop-up tactics, like you don't need to do a big Hayaka Operation Opera. You know, like if you just go about 20 degrees nose up, like the target developed enough for me to spot it, and then you just roll in. Like you don't need to do like a... Hey, I just I just love this photo right here. <laughs> Got arms coming <laughs> in. <laughs> but we That's we did brief that we were doing on coordinates like with the CCRP, right? Like oh yeah, I totally not not agree. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't know where the targets were, so I yeah. I hey, everyone lived, and that was our uh, main objective. We briefed, so mm -hmm. half the towers the are dead. Arrived. The arms arrived at about the right time, though. Yeah, yeah mine, mine mine were a little early because I assumed that. So I mean, that, those guys that were, were racing earlier. Well, that was a one was missing, correct? Arm. One was overshooting, one harm. Sorry, was pretty good. I think both of these harms overfly the target. They, yeah, the yeah. target was not active. Right. Okay. That first so, one was probably I, a little. Did premature. I not have a high enough angle there on the top? What did you uh, select it uh, as? Was it a TI highlight again? Yeah. I'm not sure. Either I gave you a bad mark point. Gump, or um, um, or it wasn't zero. Yeah. One of the two. So uh, here's, here's wins. Yeah. Like, Wait, but you, you never want to like, do like a boc. You never want to like release on a point with a Mark A4. Yeah, that, that's a good point. That's exactly. Yeah, Kraus is right. Like, I thought it was a, not a terrible tactic, but um. If here, here's how we if here's where it would have made sense if we were able to be at like 20,000 feet and generate like a really good grid with like our TGPs were looking at the SA 11, maybe, but um, just realize there's a lot of inaccuracies with the gravity Mark 84. Oh, yeah, would have been amazing. Well, so, not in BMS though, <laughs> not a BMS. I mean, like last week, I was able to dead on do this exactly this attack profile. One pair of Mark 84s landed in center, took out the whole group, but yeah. But and yeah, I agree. In real life, you could never do this. You'd never do this. No, shit, no, my yeah. point was more about like you want to get um, a pod capture on what you're hitting. Don't don't release on a uh -huh. coordinate. Well, why not? I mean, like because... we, we got a pod capture. We that turned into a coordinate, and then we we turned then we released on that. 
So, so just just to give you an example, Abe, if I were to uh, just drop on zero point seventy one, it would have been short. But what you did was good enough for me uh, to put bombs on targets. It was close enough, but it's more of a thing of uh, you just have to pretty much know the fidelity of the of the grids you're generating. I, I thought it was a fine tactic. But uh, Cross, what was your point? Sorry, uh, trying to just trying to learn exactly what Force was saying. Okay. Because you don't know if that position is going to be exactly where it is until you get a, a uh, point track. Remember, kids. But this, it was a point track. It just wasn't a point track when we were engaging. I see. Oh, it's actually tracking. That's good. Yeah. So a a Apex uh, um, accidentally shot at the SA-8 uh, while we were attacking the SA-10. Um, yeah, but uh, effect is the same, so the SA-10 kills it. Remember, kids, uh, a Russian SAM can lock onto a missile going Mach 2, but not a bomb falling ballistically towards it. <laughs> Whee. And it is a small bomb, but... Yeah. yeah. SA-10 north down. And Streak also hits it. Nice. Beautiful. Meanwhile, SA-10 south. Oh, and it was... Uh, 30 meters, 30 seconds late. So that's that's okay. Okay, so you yeah, should... We had a Rolex of two minutes. Yeah. Yes, with the Rolex, we are 30 seconds late. So Rolex would have been six zero six three five. Yeah. 19 something, and our bombs hit at hey, 30 hey, or hey, 40. So. so, oh, is he still here? Oh, he left. Okay, never mind. All right, no, he left. left. All right. It was definitely going for Stir 4. Got to leave before you learn, right? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, so I see the splash. I see the splash, and um, I misidentify that as a flap lid. Um, so I'm like, hey, SA-10 south down. Um, so I'm defending right now, um, coming off back to the IP. Um, he he fires another horn, but I think this one goes stupid as well. Um, yeah, it's already oh, yeah. stupid. It's, it goes stupid as soon as he fires it. Um, and then you came off, but you got a mark point um, when you were coming off. Yeah. Is this ballistic? Looks like. So yeah, it's still, it's, it still scared me. Oh, yeah. Uh, so now we're resetting again for another attack. Um, Breland shares a mark point. We're talking about what we're going to do. Here's what we're doing. Okay. And then I say, hey, I'm in. I get the pod capture right around here, and then we do uh, some attack. So this is like one of the most beautiful attacks I've ever nice. seen right here. This is so fucking good. My map's tracking right now. This this harm is like angry, and it's tracking hard. And then he fires another harm, which is exactly what we briefed. So Bam. That, that harm kills that group. Um, he had another harm up for good measure, and then my map goes stupid. I lost track. What was your nice. uh, point range at rifle? I think it was eight, uh, about, like seven Damn. maybe. Yeah, yeah seven. seven. Which yeah, it's unrealistic, but yellow. Is there a reason why it went dumb outside of that that point? Yeah, that was even really the, I was gonna... the target. But the target was gone. The target died, and it doesn't. Oh, it it's died. Not, it's not smart enough okay. to go big hot here still. Yeah. You know, and track on. Yeah. So it just... Yeah. Well, Keep real life. I mean, if arm. yeah, that's that's fair. What what happens? Fine. So then we're like, I, okay. I'd imagine real life it would go off. It would have trouble. Who knows what it would yeah, do? Yeah, it wouldn't bound you. Yeah. So and then we're like, okay, cool. Um, we extend out to sea and then look over shoulder with pod. Immediately find the SA8 and then start attacking the SA8. We we sorted south north. I don't know what these guys are doing at this point. They're also Probably something similar. No, they're not attacking it yet. Because yeah, you were, I didn't give the, you were called hung, it out, right? I didn't do the brief yet. A hung, hung bomb. Mm. Whoa, effects. Nice. 
So, so Stevie, you, you could have just said like, "Hey, can you send me a mark point?" I would have, I would have sent you a mark. Point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was, I was, I was. Yeah, that would have been the easiest, easiest uh, solution. So you, you talked me into it, and I thought, "Oh yeah, there it is." You said, uh, "East, east of the large, large office building," um, and and it was, it was nice. So I, I turned around. Yeah, I turned yeah, yeah, back in, and all I saw on on where I thought that you li led me to were um were those, those triple A's in front of us. So uh, yeah, yeah. You, should attack 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 those. you should have oh uh, attack those. So yeah. you must be careful if another flight, Stevie, is is ordering you to attack something. Make sure that you have a free pathway. If you uh, if we did the loft on the SA eight from our position, you will be hit by that triple uh, A. Yeah. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kill that first. Yeah. And then, yeah. And that, then, I mean. Then, yeah. But, but three, that 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 um, uh, what you're saying is is totally right. But that um, like um, I was so tumbleweed. I had no idea where the SA8 was. I only saw those those triple A's, and you see me going uh, the wagon wheel again and again, trying to find something. Yeah. Uh, also um. With my frustration, also my 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 comms uh, went downhill rapidly, and somewhere few few seconds later or minutes later, uh, <laughs> Kraus just uh, thought, "Oh fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna kill him myself." So he mm -hmm. killed uh, our target, and and I, I still haven't uh, hadn't found them. So yeah, yeah, the the easiest solution would have been. Hey Kraus, no idea what you're talking about. Please send me a mark point. Yeah, or unable. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, and then just uh, uh, analyze the situation and say, okay, before mm -hmm. I can get there, I have to attack that uh, uh, AAA. Ilsen City is full of uh, AAA and things like that. So we yeah. uh, we yeah. cautioned that already in the briefing and said, okay, maybe don't 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 trespass uh, too early. Make sure that the edges are clean. Clean. Yeah. Okay, so as soon as you guys are wrapping up these air to ground attacks, then a bunch of fighters show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here we have yeah. Apex. Um, he he, uh, he had shot his arms already, so he's switching air to air, and he just awesome yeah. shot there. Just one, and drives away the other. That was yeah, perfect. Good shots. Uh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. I wonder though oh, where, where, where my other arm went. Cruise. Yeah, it's hmm, Apex? I said I wonder where my other arm went though. If I it, saw if a arm it... go to space. Oh, sure good that, could, that. could have been man. I don't know. Ooh. Yes, just want to split us. Yeah, because I was inverted. All right, so this guy's doing Mach nine five. And he keeps it through the turn. Puts it doesn't <laughs> drop below thirty <laughs> degrees of alpha on the jet. It stays. Oh, he goes down to point eight nine. Yeah, with 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 the G of God, I mean. Yeah, five easy. five G staying at the mock. <laughs> so eight G staying above point nine. Oh my God. It's not well, a bug, it's a feature. Feature. So this guy's coming across from the west, right? This guy? Yep, that guy. Yeah, he's going to kill me. three MiG-29s. Apparently, there are much more. No, I think all those... It was only three. You had two ship, and now this one. Do um, these guys pip off the rails, or...? Nope, but it was definitely twisted into two different targets, but they both go for the one guy, which is not not what I was trying to do. Well, I haven't so done the second one. Supposed to be, yeah, supposed to be Fox Three. One at each one. Oh, well, you know, with twist, they they just pick whatever's closest nowadays. Yeah, I've had mixed results. He he drags these out. They're tracking though. I mean, they're tracking, but he's. Let like they would yeah. pull so much lead at that point to track. So there's a nice little bit of cord here, right? Like 
uh, these guys are getting this guy out of the West. Uh, I heard them targeting into him, so I'm like, okay, look, I'm going to go look at myself. Oh, yeah. Stevie, no. Yeah, that's going to get me killed. Stevie, um, no. I got a here, spike now. I was trying to find him. Here, uh, yeah, uh, in a ring, mm, something's wrong. Um, yeah. I tried to find him. I I had him. No, I didn't have him. No. Oh. Okay, does that go stupid? That goes stupid. Oh. We're still alive! Merged! Okay. Doing well so far. Uh, you mean you give me, yeah. Do you know where the bandit is? No, no, only only other we are. So uh I'm just I'm I'm just defending and, and yeah. yeah. Oh. If you'd kept that turn up, you might have been alright. Yeah, yeah I changed I changed direction, I'm so stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you didn't know where the bandit was, right? So no, I have no idea. But still, it, it, if in doubt, don't don't Do don't know, change the turn. Did you know he was in I the sure. Ring? Like was he like? Uh, it, it was yes 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 yes. He was in a ring. So uh, otherwise, be yeah. So go start doing horizontal <laughs> rather than distance shit. Because the more distance you create, the more archer um, parameters you give to the bandit. If it's like if the if the twenty nine is like touching your ass, then he's within a guns or a missile wes, and I just start turning horizontally. Don't go vertically. Like don't try to do. Vertical space. Okay. And you just turn blind, even if you don't see him. You just you just do a max G, uh, horizontal turn until you pick him up. Okay, so I, I always try to get some some nose down for the speed. If I if I turn hard. But you're but so, but if he's so this time the twist does work. If that twenty nine is touching your. Inner I mean the, the uh, he's too close for that. The angle okay. the oh, threat is so much greater than your BS. Cool. Thank you. Like sometimes I'll I'll have a bandit like that and I'll just switch into dogfight mode, do vertical and horizontal scan until I pick him up while turning. It'll some, it'll so this ass. is these these missiles, these two missiles, uh, are these uh, these are both yours, Chris, or no? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I got a band. I don't think I killed. Look, a look at the second the second A120 from the south. It's Gabriel. Okay, yeah. So this is the one I think that killed Racy. Oh, so shit. those were both shot into the guy that I just killed. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. There's no way that kills Ricey. That's so far away. Can you see? No, it this time. He, uh, oh yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Ah, yeah. So yeah. three just called me to turn back around to he just, he just see it? come back, oh, like oh, just no. at the wrong time. No. And as soon as I got this, I got the spike. No, Gabriel. No. So little energy. You you can actually if you if you if you if you, if you, if you uh, get, get back a little bit, you see the missile. Like, mm, there's Ricey. Let's kill him. So he's locked on that guy. This is not. He's and, like a fire. Yeah, yes. yeah. I would and, not expect Ricey to get like got by this. Oh, oh, that guy's dead. Oh, I see something else. I want him right here. Look, I'm pulling lead on him that now. That angle. Now my target. There's no way it would pick him yeah. up in that angle. What is that like? Seventy degrees. Off four side or something. You're gonna click and see. four thirty five. No, he he turns right. He turns right. That, in front of that's it. that's in the seeker. Oh, <laughs> no. Now it's already pulled lead, hasn't it? Mm, yeah, that's already pulled rice. So what's the gimbal seeker um, on the one twenty? Forty five. Well, he was in. I, I think that's. It was really plus minus forty five. Harry's then. lucky he doesn't get schwacked here. Well, it's already, it's already wants. Oh no, maybe it is going for Heredia here. Oh no, it it's is. really hard to tell. No, oh, oh, did, did, no did you see? Did, did you see? Did you see? Um, yeah, it yeah. turned on Heredia for a second, and then it went back to Ricey. Then he lost. It lost it out of the field of view, so it turned back to Ricey. Pull, pull, yeah. pull. Amazing. This is so easy to defend. All he has to do is turn right or left, and he would. He's like flying. Almost I was like doing six Gs what, here. I'm what, not what sure why have, it's not showing here. But I, I was learned, doing six Gs. What I have learned is whenever you see the M. You're doing four. Oh you just have to put it on your three nine and hope. It, it was falling too when it proxed. Yeah, it's that's so dumb. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, Look at that. that. Climbing. Like little turn it does. Just climbing would have solved the problem. Just a little turn at the end. Like, it's like oh, I'm gonna slide. Ne like, never. Drift, Tokyo there, there's drift. no way Ricey would have known. Yeah, how hindsight. To hindsight is ten. There's 10, no but... way. Oh. Never when we shoot it at the fulcrum does that happen, but only when we shoot it. At the <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a that's a long box. That is a long ass. What's box. going so on this, there? So this is 
Yeah, so this is when I see these guys, and I I think, oh fuck, these guys are low and not very fast, and this guy's coming Mach 1.2 at them, and it's going to merge before I'm going to get there. So, Ricey's already dead, but I, I see Ricey and Haraday, and I call these guys That's to lost. break left. Just just trying to get the missile. To oh, I heard that. Uh, had, like, yeah. other fights, break. <laughs> I had pod capture on, on, on him. I didn't know it was Haraday at the time. I was more worried about Ricey. I did not realize Ricey was dead. And I and I remember looking out of the cockpit and seeing a flaming F-16 thinking, fuck, I probably killed him. But no, it was, it was, he was already dead. And this is where I say I, I, I have the bonsai now because I'm within 19. This guy's not turning away. Uh, this, this is where I call the bonsai right here. Um. Because if I turn my ass to him right now and he doesn't turn it away from these missiles, I'm just dead. Yeah. And then I see him turn away without firing a missile. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm out. Bye. I was having a bit of trouble working this one out, which is why I didn't fire anything. It, it was good. It created the separation we needed. I... I... <laughs> It feels like those missiles were like nerf darts, but I heard you talking about friendlies, but I couldn't tell where they were. But I, I thought I'm not going to take yeah, the risk if, if you, they're in there. If somewhere. you do a quick uh, like full full angle uh, M mode four, it'll get them even if they're not in the altitude. So it gives you just a quick like it's not 100 percent accurate, but you can get a quick essay of where the friendlies are in your field of fire. Um, <laughs> AG holding Mach 1.1. Oh. Yeah, my ears. What was I alt tab for a second? I had no idea what was going on. I just heard that. <laughs> <sound>. <laughs> it's the sound they train our Russian pilots to make. <laughs> it's a chi maneuver. Uh, guys, 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 calm down. He's just doing his G warm ups. Yeah. yeah. If if we had done that, we could do this also. So. Meanwhile, I think. G, you're gonna have hard G. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're just spinning over here. I had these fucking. I picked up all these SA8s and I was going to like give someone a grid. And then as I was looking then at them on the TGP, they de egged, which is cool. Well, did they de egged or did you destroy my toes? No, they all de egged. And then. What? Well, but but you. How can they de egg if you're so close? Good fucking question, friend. Okay, and then, okay. okay. So it, it's possible. So it's possible that the ground war decided that that platoon was dead because of its engagement and deagged it that way because they got wiped off the map. I'd be curious to see if they're still there in two D. I mean, there were lots of toes uh, fired at them. Yeah, it's like these helicopters need to die. <laughs> well, we were looking for the SA eights. So I couldn't find them anywhere, so I'm like, fuck it. And then right there, he jinked. I put him on the pipper. Right oh, there, I had that. a perfect solution. I pulled the trigger, <laughs> and as soon as the death shot goes over the he just jinx. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll post a video of that. Right by. Please do. <laughs> you should, so you then, guys, sorry, go ahead. Kentucky windage and fire. Yeah, that you point. should watch our bonsai flow later. Sorry, that's all I'm saying. On the uh, helicopters. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll so these there. guys are these guys are just fucking around in the north of the helicopters while we're we're fighting for our lives. Well, yeah, to we're, and we're like, what the fuck is taking you guys so long? Because like, like keep we turning our, back into uh, us. We did our job. What the fuck is keeping you? <laughs> so then, like, we do a quick ops check, and we all have like six thousand pounds and a wing full of AMRAMs. So it's like, okay, I guess we'll help out. So we start heading south. Look at that triple A. It's so excited to see you. Yeah. Come. Oh, is it spinning around? <laughs> <laughs> as real as it gets um so <laughs> this is when you see that in the pod the best is when you see that in the pod. yeah when they're just all doing the fucking dance i like how the russian air force is so fucked that there's a single c-33 trying to defend the carrier group uh-huh all right so so we're gonna <laughs> We're, we're going to show... It's really realistic, though. Yeah. Uh, Federacja. We're going to do... We're going to show two BVR flows here. One's the correct one, and it's by Gump, and the other is what I'm about to do. I'm like... So, 
This is what I call hey man, who's shooter? <laughs> like, because I'm getting close to this dude. Uh huh. And I'm like, okay, we'll both take a shot. And Gump correctly goes, okay, good. Fox three, crank out. Meanwhile, I'm like, this guy has to die. He's been chasing my friends around all day. <laughs> and I didn't. If I saw this missile come off the rails, I would have fucking defended. But he's, he's like pointed right at me. Mar, what's like, that? Yeah, yeah, 17 miles. Um, okay. <laughs> and so, like, I mash pickle and immediately get a uh, missile warning. And this isn't nearly as exciting as it felt. It doesn't look nearly as exciting here as it felt at the time. But, like, I, this is just fucking chirping away. You call defensive, so I turn back around for it. A d potential DLOS. I well, lost capture in the turn there. And the and, and the, the irony here is your missile already killed the guy. Yeah. So two health though. You... No no look he's That is true. Ah. Some, well they're better than they used to be in that regard, I feel like. Yeah, someone coded it up so they fucking turn around when they're get hit with an AMRAM. Nice. Yeah, but don't 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 change too many things because you might break something. Uh huh. Can we see, um, there was a point where I had a Fox 3 on, on my 12 on me. I'd like to see that. Yeah. It was, it, it, so it, it turns, uh, that was a friendly 120 that was from these guys on the right that uh, had no energy and, and turned on to us and I just fell really into the ocean. Yeah, I was like, where is this yeah, guy yeah. from? I was so confused. Yeah, yeah, so it was like the guys coming from like where Gump is now firing on the 27s earlier, and it, it kind of like just saw us out of the corner of his vision and with no energy it turned, and we defended, but it was there's no way it was getting to us. But step one of missile fa defense is to go really fast. Step two is to do everything else. And then you no, guys... He uh, live. You guys track down some more uh, evil, evil MI twenty sixes, I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're we, coming right we, at uh, us. They're coming right at us. Yeah, no, just, very important. But, we followed these guys I, back and so, the same ones from earlier. I mean, they've been nagged in DA several times. Oh. My Fox Street call was beautiful. I just want to rewind if we could get some. Dude, tape that was some, that was some, uh -huh. uh, some very squared away calm right there for us. <laughs> I have a lot of experience shooting Amram. So. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're like spades, like contact, like twenty miles north, and sorted like, fox. Really? <laughs> well, and then I'm like, oh, way down there, and then I'm like, wait a second, it's doing like a hundred knots. So it's got to be a helicopter. No, yeah. no respect, bonsai. Like just. <laughs> Ouch. 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 <laughs> Look at that helicopter just operating with him uh -huh. behind our flight. Well, that'll show him. Look at these fucking cat mobs over here flying around. I think they were firing AT-6s or whatever at friendly troops. Yeah, motherfuckers. AT-9s. Oh, fuck them. Yeah, we should have gotten those guys. That actually made... That's the only thing that made me upset that mission, is that we had uh, casts that we couldn't help with. <laughs> well, the next mission is going to be a uh, it'll be a scar bai cas combo. Oh yeah, ground pounding. Yes. Hey, I had something strange going on this mission. Oh, yeah? I suddenly, I suddenly had bingo fuel, so I still had three bombs left, and I did some uh, runs, which uh, uh, the bombs didn't come off, but I didn't expect. Uh, uh, to be at bingo fuel state at that moment. So um, I came back home and it was a pretty low on fuel. I had uh, zero fuel and the engine was still running. And uh, all the Christmas tree was uh, was on on the on the right hand side, uh, emergency fuel, uh, low oh. light, things like that. And hey, uh, John. I Is that you out there? No, it's me. I in the room. No, in the. Oh, uh, what's he doing? Sorry, worst thing. <laughs> what? What? what you, wait, come I on, what expected you... a flame out landing, but uh, the, the engine uh, didn't shut off. I prepared already my uh, Jeffers on. Uh, Jeff has on. He was and, a, uh, you uh, you to high key. Yes, I went to high key. So uh, 
Good. I'm in my downwind, just looking for a streak. I'm like, oh fuck, where wait, is he? I don't wait, see. Wait, him. I want to see this. I want to see the high key. Oh, I, I still had, I still wait. had hydraulics, so I put my Kia down. But uh, I imagine, okay, it will shut down shortly, so I changed my brake channel to channel two, uh, just to have some brakes uh, on the runway. But um, it stayed on, and on touchdown. Uh, during the roll, I had 900 pounds and then back to zero, but the engine was still running. That is crazy. When I left uh, the target area, uh, the, the fuel on, on home plate was uh, 70 pounds or something. So crazy. I landed over the top of Apex's AI did, that was texting. Did you, did you, have, did you have the, the, the tank selector on, on the, between your legs? On the, on, on oh, the... Yeah, good question. It, uh, it was uh, on normal. And I okay. checked uh, reservoirs; they were empty. I checked also uh, the Bose, uh, the two uh, fuel lights; uh, they were on, of course. Crazy, so, uh, because when uh, you called Bingo, I was still at eight thousand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had still but, the tank, the, the the external feeding. So, yeah. So, so I thought I uh, I, I accidentally had jettisoned my external tanks, but uh, no. When I uh, climbed up uh, to uh, get home. Uh, I selected Selective Jetson, and I remembered, don't select the hung bomb, otherwise you get a crash to desktop. <laughs> so, so I selected uh, the... That's the emergency the procedure they taught you in the Air Force, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I selected uh, the tanks, I jettisoned those, and then I was uh, close to uh, home plate, but uh, I couldn't make it, and I said, fuck it. So um, uh, I, I pushed some more gas just to climb some altitude, just to get a one-on-one -on -one ratio but then i said okay let's uh, let's knock those uh, uh, those uh, bru's off with uh, with that hung uh, weapon and then it went off as uh, as uh, advertised so i'm completely confused about uh, what's going on with the bms right now or with my airplane at that uh, moment strange and there's cross taking off again yeah i want more <laughs> 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 yeah, so crazy. I made it. I made it back with uh, zero yes. fuel on the runway, on the indicators. And by the way, the uh, jet fuel starter works with uh, zero fuel on board. Dude, in the in the real jet, does uh, if you have the wrong fuel selector selected, will it let you flame out? I would imagine it wouldn't, right? No. Yeah, because I assume... Oh, then, 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 then there should be something wrong with your uh, the switch on the left-hand side. Yeah, uh, and your feet normal. Yeah. Uh, you go uh, go aft or, or or forward. If you leave it in uh, one of those uh, aft or forward uh, position, you might end uh, up in uh, going into deep shit because of uh, unbalance of the whole aircraft. Yeah, that disables the, the balance pump or the pump from balancing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but uh, but uh, fuel wise, uh, so uh, the, if, the, if if you have the selector in normal, then the system tries to uh, balance uh, the whole aircraft. But then uh, uh, the switch left on the canopy rail should be in normal, of course. But also uh, the external uh, fuel uh, selector tank switch should be in normal. Leave that in normal, otherwise it won't uh, do it automatically. Strange. So, if you have uh, a fuel issues, also in the real jet, that is a real, uh, real, uh, uh, yeah, difficult uh, emergency to to handle, because mm. you you only can trust your your master cautions, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you have to select your reservoirs and see if the reservoirs are full, or at least to have some uh, two hundred fifty pounds left, and uh, you know that uh, there is no. Uh, Stand pipe failure, or that there's uh, unusable fuel in the tanks, but it's strange. Maybe it's also uh, AB uh, selector switch too long in AB, but uh, it is. It came so sudden. The bingo warning. It's uh, <laughs> by surprise.